Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. <laughs> you caught me busy tidying then. Look at this, right? This is an extra wide quilt backing that we've got. And I had to hang it up like that because it's so gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm sure it'll have sold out by the time we get to it. But isn't that lovely? 108 inches wide it is. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to everybody. What's the matter? What's the matter, Elliot? Elliot's out of breath. He's just moved a chair and he's like huffing and puffing like an olden in there. It's what? It's something else he says now. Right, okay, shall we, shall we do an early bird then? I've got two early birds. Right, actually, before you buy anything, I'm gonna show you them both, right? I've got two early birds. One is this panel here, which is like fairy tales, right? And you get the crayons to color it in. And the other one is this one, which is space age, right? So Hannah, which one would you like to do first? Space Age first, right. So what you get in this early bird is you get the panel. I'll put it out on the table for you. Uh, and you get the colouring in pens, right? You're saving four pounds. Saving four pounds. It's early bird special. Fabric pens and space colour me in panel. Four pounds you're saving. 14 pounds and 98 pence. You get both of those. 
It's not lovely. Gorgeous panel as well there. Let me just check. Yeah, exclusive to Sewing Street, up in space, 140 centimetres by 50 centimetres. And you get the crayons to colour it in. Well, they're not crayons, they're fabric pens. And these fabric pens, you don't even have to iron them, I don't think, to fix them, if I remember correctly. I'll just check. Right, uh, it's acid and linen free. Always wash the fabric before starting to paint. Oh, there you go, that's important. Wash the panel first. Apply the fabric paint to the dried fabric and leave to dry on a flat surface, for, flat surface for at least 12 hours. Does not need fixing by an iron and then can be machine washed 45 degrees. I uh, know. Fantastic, isn't it? 14 pounds and 98 pence. What's the matter, Elliot? He's, mu he's muttering away in my ear there. It, would, it does what, Elliot? Why, what, what, what else would it do then? At £14.98, Elliot's trying to give me expertise now on um, painting and dyeing of fabrics. Yeah, you do that, Elliot. You do that. You sit there quietly today. Uh, anyway, uh, come in, you get, you're saving £4. You're saving £4 on this one. Uh, Kate says, good morning on this very breezy day. Uh, it is breezy, isn't it? Good morning, says Anne. Uh, Judith says, good morning. Laurie says, good morning. Stuart says, good morning. Look at that rainbow. That's woken me up. Uh, echo, I'm um, echoing Billy, like Billy O, just so you know, um, uh, Elliot. Uh, then we've got Laurie saying, good morning, John. I heart you. Have a great day to all the team. Thank you. It's me, Hannah and Elliot today. And Catherine will be up in a second. £14.98. Thank you. That's better. That's all. Right. OK, let's introduce the fairy so you can make a decision. Elliot, could you just pop out? <laughs> that was Hannah, not me. There we go. This is how Elliot gets to work every morning, here, look. In a pumpkin. There he is. Hannah arrives on the unicorn. This is how I arrive. Yeah? Well, then you don't see me arrive. Yeah. No, I fly in. I just lower myself in, you know. On a winch. Who's got a face? Oh, yeah. Oh, and again, and again, you get the, the pens, look. Fourteen ninety eight. That's a brilliant buy, isn't it? Saving four pounds. What's in there then? Hang on, let me put my glasses on. Is that perfume? Potion. Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Could be a love potion because we're going for the love theme today. I've got the hearts on. There's lots of friendship and love coming up in the show today. Got the rainbow behind me. Take a picture, Anna. That could be my new. That could be my new picture, couldn't it? Oh, it won't work. There you go. I don't have to have a My photo shoot didn't happen the other day. No, the photographer, there you go. Oh, that's perfect. The photographer didn't bring his camera. So I'm going to have to have to do it today now instead. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Uh, are you checking out on this? Hurry up. What we'll do is, we'll, oh, we'll have that picture standing by all day just to cheer us all up. Chris says, good morning. There it is. Chris says, good morning, everyone. Claire says, good morning, John. It's very grey today. Oh, is it? Lowe says, morning, John. Looking for somewhere to go this weekend. Uh, we're not talking about your mood, Elliot. It's fine. Suzanne says, morning, John and team from a very wet Aberdeenshire. Loving the shirt and the fabulous fabric behind you, says Claire. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Morning, John, says Jill. Very windy in South Devon. Love that rainbow fabric behind you. And says, morning, wet again in Leeds. I think I'm getting webbed feet. Have a great show. Jackie says, morning, John. Can you say hello to Dave? Oh, he's home. Dave's home. Jackie's Dave's home. While we're doing hellos. Oh, what have I done with it? I've got a special hello to say to somebody. Mabel's the dog. Remember Mabel? Here it is. I've got it. I've got it. Got it. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So Amanda, who hasn't been able to go to a sewing class for a year, Catherine Wright's sewing class, right? Uh, she watches every day. She had to go back to work now. So she's taping this. So she'll have it. So she hello, Amanda. And to Mabel the dog. Mwah! That's from Amanda, not Mabel the dog, obviously. Right. Okay, shall we carry on? So are you going space? Are we going to put both of them in? Can you put both of them in? Put them box in, right? So are you going spaceman or are you going fairy? Elliot. Elliot's going fairy from Birmingham. I'll put it through that way up so you can see. 
Fairy, space, space, fairy. It's up to you. It's today's early bird and you're saving four pounds. There you go, they're both in, both in. You make your choice now. There you go, they're on the right sides now then. Uh, morning, John, Rainy here in Formby, says Jean. Donna says, morning, John, from a very blustery North Devon. What was the weather like yesterday? It was horrendous, wasn't it? It's because of what? Oh, it's a kerfuffle. I thought you were saying why it was windy. That was all. Okay, you've got, you've got an apostrophe missing on that. Does it matter? Oh, okay, don't weigh them. Don't worry. £14.98. pence. Right, now I'm going to go on. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I can bring that back at 11 o'clock if you like. Right, now we've got panel of the week. What day is it? Friday. So this, uh, it's only this price until Sunday. After Sunday, it goes back up to, I think it goes up to 19.99, doesn't it? Up £7. There you go. Now these are all two and a half inch strips. They're 55 inches wide, they're a hundred, not wide, long. They're a hundred percent cotton. It's exclusive to Sewing Street. £12.99. We'll go up to 19.99 on Sunday night. I'm here now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so's Elliot, and so's, uh, are you as well, Hannah? Oh, we're all here. Dream team, Elliot. Gorgeous, twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Twelve ninety nine. Now, you know these star things? Join my Facebook Live yesterday, I got six hundred stars. Yeah, what does that mean? Galenia says good morning. Margaret says good morning. <coughs> Margaret's a bit miffed because she, she's got to go back to proper work. Oh, no, she's been working all the way through lockdown, but from home. She's got to go back to the office on the 21st of June. I know. There you go. There's a lovely panel. Look. Zooming in. Loads in baskets. Oh, Maureen. She says, Mr. Parsons was successful. How do you know, Maureen? I haven't seen it. Oh, look. Series 6, episode 2, Mr. Parsons was successful. So, hang on. I saw him in, in series 7. So how come he's in series 6 now? That's not the one that, not that he's successful with. And then she drops dead the next day. That's not that. We're talking about Chameleon, by the way, in Chester Zoo, in case you're worried. Not a, not a geography teacher called Mr. Parsons. No, I've watched all the series, you see. But, but apparently he was very successful. That was series 6, but I've seen series 6. Oh, now, in the early bird, take that one out, because, did you have something lined up on the desk here? Oh, yeah, it's a green, a green thing, I've picked it up, there you go. Um, space is more, I'm further away from you today than I normally am, aren't I? Yeah, oh, Hannah's, Hannah feels very connected. Space is the most popular of the early birds. I don't mind, I'm just saying, I feel like I'm reaching out for you like that. Maybe I got smaller. It's the world got smaller. Right, uh, shrinking in my old age. Thanks, Elliot. Right, now I'm going to clean this table because Catherine's got to come in and do some work now. We will do the menu now. See if you can spot the missing apostrophe. There you go, today's menu. That's tomorrow's menu, that one. <laughs> Elliot, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Here we go. Catherine writes a pliqued cushion. This is my first hour. Then uh, it's my second. Oh, that and here they are. Here they are, Elliot. Uh, Catherine writes a pliqued cushions. There they are. Lovely, aren't they? Elliot spent hours doing the photographs this morning. Then back to the menu. Oh, I'm going to show you all these pictures. Right then, we've got fabulous fabric at nine o'clock. New X-ray backing, remember we've got that, um, uh, what's that called, rainbow, rainbow backing. 
Oh yeah, now the one I'll show you when we go through the um, when we go through the menu in a minute. But the <laughs> it looks a bit weird on the menu. Um, then at ten o'clock we've got floral tote bags with Catherine White. Now that is an exclusive exclusive panel to Sewing Street. Beautiful comes in two colourways. That's the blue. We also have it in brights. Then uh, we've got kit. Oh now it's eleven o'clock. <coughs> Neil, my special guest Neil is in at 11 o'clock. He is, uh, he's our boss, he's our big boss if you didn't know, and he's demonstrating the electric scissors. I know, I couldn't keep him off. He's not here yet, he should have been here at, at seven. He's not doing haircuts, he's doing, clip, showing how to use electric scissors. Anyway, that's, near, uh, that's not just Neil, then I've got Kit's Roundup at 11 o'clock. Then uh, we go back to Yarn Lane and uh, Ladies Cotton Knits with Catherine Wright at 12 o'clock. <clears throat> going to be a fantastic day, isn't it? Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is you can send us an email, and that is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com, or you can go on Facebook Live, which are the ones I've been reading out. Let me just read a couple more of those while we're on that. Will those pens colour colour in the whole sheet? Yes, Christopher, they will. But make sure you put the lids on, yeah. Both colouring panels ordered. Thank you, says Julie. Glennis says, good morning. Susan says, good morning, John and crew. Just watch highwaymen setting up barriers outside my house. More holes to dig. Are they handsome, though, Susan? It's fine if they're handsome, isn't it? Morag says, morning all. Uh, off to work, bad back. Oh, no, off work, bad back, resting, watching the lovely John. Oh, Morag, you take care. Elliot's got a bad back as well. Uh, it was on last night, says Maureen. Oh, well, in that case, it'll be on my um, Sky Plus thing. Um, Okay, right, okay, shall we? Uh, now, that, the third way is go to the website. <clears throat> what you do is you click on, you go to the website, and then you click on watch the show live, and then you'll see the box on the right-hand side there. It says send message studio. You can write a quick message in there. Now, oh, Hannah's tried to send me nothing. On the day of friendship, she's tried to send me nothing. Anyway, you write your message there, you send it through to the studio, and they're the ones that come up in the white boxes underneath. Love, she just said the word love. Right, now scroll down the page, see the early bird there, today's bestsellers, flying out. Now, you see on the left-hand side there are the things that we have shown already. Now, for some reason, Victoria Carrington's Folksy Town Tea Light Kits appeared there. That is in the 11 o'clock show, so you can start checking out. If you missed out on the other day because the graphics weren't working properly, <clears throat> then come in and get it out. Uh, right, now, everything else, so as we've played everything, it'll be in that le on that left-hand side, but... Everything that's coming up on the show is in pre-order there. So you've got Catherine Wright's kits there, lovely kits. Then you've got the little bird kits, perfect for children. Then you've got, oh, then you've got that lovely um, tropical bird kit there. So we carry on down there. Then here's uh, the new fabrics and the X-Ride backings. They're not all X-Ride bags, they're all mixed and matched there. These are all the new tonal fabrics. They're beautiful. Then we've got, oh, now... Now, this is extra wide backing. Now, did you watch, that's only a little bit of it. Did you watch Great British Showing Bee this week when they were using denim, you see? Now, you could make your own denim frock without cutting up the denim. You could just use the extra wide backing. That's lovely. That's, is that extra wide backing? William Morris, extra wide. Oh, it's William Morris-esque, yeah. Then that one there, all about friendship, BFFs, with a friend, you will never walk alone. What are those funny little things? Yeah, that's Hannah's friends, knows all about her and still love her. She can count them on one hand. Anyway, moving down. Look, now, this one here, that one's a bit weird because that's the one that's been hanging behind us. But it looks nice, doesn't it? Effective. But it is what is hanging behind, well, not behind me, behind Catherine now. Scrolling down, scrolling down. There you go, we've got more beautiful fabrics. There's the tote bag coming up. Now, ugh, this, this does annoy me. Right, there's the blue one that we're making, right? But the other one says bright colourway, but how do you know what colour it is? Is it in the compo? Will, will it show the panel in the compo? No. Okay, never mind, carry on. I'm going to have a word. I'm going Now, there's the cord there's a half inch ruler. Half you don't need it for that hour. Right, then we go to more friendship and love panels there. There's more stock in the bundles. That was Jules Mayouf, I think, this week, wasn't it? Uh, carrying on. Look at those lovely... Fa oh, the quilt. The quilt that... Um, Wendy Orlando's quilt. Now, I thought we had three colourways, just two colourways there. 
Oh, there it is. Didn't see the first one. The Gentle Waves quilt from Wendy Orlando's show during the week. Then we've got the Michael Miller. Now, I've not seen that Michael Miller before. They're the batteries for your candles. There's your candles. There's your beautiful William Morris bundle there. Then we've got a uh, badger cushion. The bench pillows book. Then we've got some lovely fabrics, princess fabric there. Then that quilt. We've got that quilt block there. There's loads. There's loads. Why? It's really weird that it's working today, isn't it? Bugs in a bag are back as well. There's Roger down there, bottom right hand, Roger. Don't know why he's in there. Oh, oh no, the Tulip Pink Charm Pack sold out. We will be getting more in. We will be getting more in. Um, and then uh, there's the scissors. Uh, they've got their own area with my special guest at 11 o'clock. So, um, and they'll be on split pay as well, won't they? 159.99, they'll be 53, 53.33, won't they? They've not been demoed to split pay before. No, I know. Right, so that's everything, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look at Catherine's cushions that she's doing today then. Here they are. Right, so Elliot wants to show you the trilogy. Then he'll want to show you this one, which is the Brights one. Most popular on pre-order, and that's the one you... Is it called Brights? Yep, and you're going to see it being demoed. Right, then we've got this one, which will be called Green and Blue. Natural Green, Natural Green, that one's called. Then we've got Yellow and Green. That's the Yellow and Green. I like whatever that plant is in the middle. I like that. I don't know what, what make... What, I'm sure Catherine knows the name of it when we get to her. Uh, anyway, they are the three. So, shall I show you what the bundles that we've got for sale? So, this is the first one. This is the Brights one that's going to be demo, demoed. It's a different pattern to the others. Different pattern to the others. Everything you need, apart from the cushion pad, is in here. So you've got your white fabric, so you can make uh, the front and the back of the cushion, whether you do an envelope back or a zip back, it's up to you. These are the fabrics that you'll get in the kit, aren't they? So look, they're beautiful. So you get the pink dot, the butterflies, the snowflakes, the plant pots. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Green. And then the blue dot. Oh, that's all you've had. But then look at this. I said, who have you made cut all of these out? And should I have done it, John? So all your, all your lovely little bits of fabric in there. Plus, wait till you see these instructions on a wing, wing, wing binder. Ring binder. Look. Isn't that brilliant? They can sit flat on your desk while you're following them. A ring binder, not a wing binder. Then you also get your layout, where you need to put everything. And you get your templates. I know, brilliant, isn't it? All that for £23.99. And you're going to get a masterclass in it in, during this hour. So that's that one. That's the brights. Now, that design only comes in that colourway, right? So that's the one design that comes in that colourway. The other one, the one with the lovely seedlings in, this is the yellow-grey one. So again, you get the grey fabric in there. Then, oh, that's nice. Oh, I say... Right, so we get that lovely petal one. You get your bright orange. Then you get your cream. You get your yellow dot. You get your bright yellow. You get your sunshine. You get your bonder web. You don't need to buy extra bonder web. There's your little pamphlet again. There's your, oh, And there's your placement. And there's your um, thing. And this is what you can make. Beautiful. Now, where's the orange on that one then, Catherine? I can't see any orange on that one. Prototype. Prototype, sample. that's right, there you go. Right, yo, I'm not picking, I promise. And then last but not least, I've got the natural green one. That last one's just flown into baskets, by the way, that last one there. Here you go. Oh, these are lovely as well. So this one, you have a cream cushion, Bonder Web. And then look at all these lovely colours here. So you get your sage, your peppermint. That's gorgeous, isn't it, that one? Then you get your aqua. Then you get your aqua dots and you get the, I can't remember what that one's called now, turquoise dots. All of the fabrics you need, plus your instructions, plus your layout, plus your templates, everything you need in there. £23.99 and, and that makes this one. Ta-da! Right, let's get on with some sewing, shall we? Good morning, Catherine. Hello, How are you? Can John. you hear them in there? Yeah. Like Elliot said, <laughs> I'm going to be quiet today. He's done nothing but shout for the last <laughs> hour, 20 minutes. I love you too, Elliot, but we have to do sewing now. 
Right. Hello, Catherine, first Hello. of all. Lovely something Good you've morning. for ages. I know. It's very anyway, nice. Oh, by the way, in my next Simply Sewing magazine, I'm featuring Catherine. So that's not the one that's out coming out this month. The one that's out this month. You're in the next You're in the Oh, lovely. So Thank there. you. Right, OK, so let's make a cushion, shall we? Absolutely. So in your kit, you've got half a metre of fabric. And uh, you'll start by cutting out your rectangle for the front of your cushion, which needs to be 46 centimetres by 35 centimetres, which I've just drawn out. And because you've got half a metre, if you want to, and you like to put a zip in your cushions, you've got plenty of fabric to do that, or you can make an envelope back, and your envelope back sizes are 32 by 35. Okay. I'm just going to roughly cut that one out, and then I've got something to stick on to. Okay, so uh, before you do it, I can tell you that the flowers are... Um, oh, where's it gone? Hey, go. Oh, no. I've got a thing here saying... Uh, Oh, oh, the one in the middle looks like hogweed or cow parsley or Queen's Anne's lace, apparently. That's yes. a Christopher's of florist. I would say that's, yes, seed heads that I was, the sort that you see by the roadside. Oh. The, you know, the ins yes, yes, that yes, in yes, sort yes. of inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. Yes, absolutely. Susan says her builders outside are not handsome. Uh, Patricia says good morning all. Nicola says good morning. She had a chemo yesterday, so she's resting today. You take care, my love, Nicola. Um, Jenny says morning, everyone. Off today, hoping my parcel will come today. Sue says morning all. Horrible morning, but very happy to watch John and Catherine. Oh, no, I'm very happy to watch John, but especially Catherine. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, that's Sue from Chippy. <laughs> and then I don't know if she's got a chip shop or not. That's where she said she's Sue from Chippy. Right, Ooh. I'll let you get on. Okay. So um, on your template, you've got the design. Now, it is a mirror image of the actual finished cushion because when you use Bond Web, it flips over, which is why you've got a layout on this side, which is the opposite way around. Okay. Just so you don't get confused if you've not used, used Bond Web before. So what you need to do is trace over each shape. So here where I've got a flower, I need to trace my centre of my flower separately to tracing the petals of my flower so that you can do them on different fabrics. So every um, shape that you want in a different fabric, you need to trace around. Right. I have prepared some of these earlier. Okay, Don't worry, well. I am not going to trace the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> so. so you need to get a little collection. And you'll see at this point, I'm just roughly cutting it out, mm -hmm. not cutting it out really neatly at this stage, because um, life life's too short. You've got to cut it out neatly with your um, when it's on your fabric so you can just roughly cut round them so I'm just quickly seeing what I have got and what I haven't got because I prepped this a little while ago so when you've got all your shapes traced uh -huh. you want to put them in little decide which fabrics you want now I haven't told you in the instructions oh this flower's got to be orange this flower's got to be pink I thought you might like to make that decision oh, for yeah. yourself. But if they want to replicate yours, you, you can, can sort of, because you've got the coloured... The colours are the same. same. Some of the fabrics may be slightly different because um, these were my samples that I made up and I used scraps in the initial oh, okay. one. But the colours are the same. Yeah. So, yes, you can replicate mine if you want to, but if you have... You've got loads of fabric in here. You've got, you know, way more than you need, to be honest. So if there's one you like more than the others, then you can use that one. Um, it's, it's your choice. I quite like to give people a little bit of you know, creativity yeah, if they exactly. want to. So I'm going to do all my stems in the green. And that's the wrong side of the fabric. So it? yes, very important. The bond web goes on the wrong side of the fabric. And when you feel your bond web, it's got a smooth side and a rough side. Mm -hmm. The rough side's the adhesive. That's the bit that goes down onto the wrong side of your fabric. Okay. Too many times, John, have I stuck things to the oh, iron. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so just be really careful. Yeah, I only ask because the back of that fabric is as beautiful as the front, isn't it? Well, it green? is quite nice, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, now what I'd say, because I cut these out a little while ago, and the bonder web has started, if you leave it, it starts to go a bit. Oh, okay. So, do it the day you want to use it. Yeah. Give it That's a good your old... fault for being prepared. I was, I was well organised. <laughs> I know, it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> right. So you can see I'm just ironing over it for a few seconds and it's sticking down nicely. Okay. Right. 
So there, they're my leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll do a nice. Oh, that's a lovely, dirty mat that you've got there. It I'll is. Well, it was the one that was down there. Yeah, no, no. I'm we'll not do a nice you. orange flower, I think. Okay. A big sort of daisy. Um, I mean, again, I've done a particular layout, but because you've got lots of extra, if you want to do more flowers, or you want to leave a bit of it out, and you know, because there's one bit you like better than the mm -hmm. others, then you can. Oh, now the cut and press underneath, the dirty board underneath. <laughs> we've got them back in on Sunday and we've got decent stock. We've got decent stock on Sunday with those. They are very handy. Hmm? Very handy. They are. They're good. That, that one's a bit grubby, isn't it? That one? It is a little bit. <coughs> it's been well used, yeah. which is okay. So, and I'm going to have little blue bluebells. Okay. Okay. They'll be available on pre-order at eight o'clock on Sunday morning. So when you've got yourself nicely ironed, we're going to just carefully cut these out now. Oh, again, so you only cut, to start with, you just cut it roughly, but now you cut. Now it. I'm going to cut it neatly okay. around my pencil lines. Some of these pieces are quite small. So what I would suggest is almost if you cut slightly outside your pencil line right because if you're not careful you will get them so tiny yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything with them so it's quite um it's quite relaxing quite relaxing just doing a nice uh, nice bit of careful cutting out nice sharp scissors um i don't i don't know if you noticed but i used my paper scissors to cut the bond web before I stuck it on. Right. But I am using my fabric scissors now. Oh, okay. I'm going through the fabric. Because you do want a nice, sharp, clean edge. But you know, you know how it is with fabric scissors exactly. and paper. But you somehow, what's... You can use little scissors. You can use little scissors. I just quite like using big ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's what you get, it's what you get used to, isn't no, it? No, exactly. And these are my, these are my own you know, pair that I that I always use. You get your favourite tools, don't yeah, exactly. you? Exactly. Yes. So, as you start to cut them out, yeah. now I, when I do this at home, I do it on my ironing board actually. Right. So I have this laid out in front of me, and um, as I cut them out, I'm going to carefully peel off the bond web. Now it's one of those things. It's a bit like double-sided sticky tape. You can be a devil to get into, but if you give it a slight little tear the edge of that paper, you can get your nail under and then you can peel it off. And because they're small, you want to yeah. do it quite carefully so that they don't fray, Yeah. like so. And then you can start to refer to your picture and lay them in place. So if you do it on your ironing board, you're not going to lay them on because you, you don't want to iron them on until you've kind of got them all down in case something's not quite right and you want to move it. But if you've done it on your ironing board, you haven't got to do that like balancing act across to yeah. it. <laughs> Can you just move your uh, pressing board just to the right a little bit? Perfect, thank so, you. Right, right. I'm not very good at less, lefts and rights. When I learned to drive, they, they, you know, they'd say, turn left, the other oh, left, no. the other left. The other that left. was one of those. <laughs> 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 While you're cutting those out, can I just recap, because they're very popular, can I just recap the bundles and everything of that we've course. got here? So, which one do I want to start with, Han? The one that we're demoing first, which is the bright one here. Now, this pattern only comes in this one colourway. There we go. So, you get the beautiful fabrics you just saw Catherine cutting out there. So, you get the pink, the, the moths, the blue, the, uh, the uh, plant pot one you saw. There's the green one we just saw blue and then we've got the lovely little bits here for other extra bits within the pack you get your bond web you get your white fabric for your cushion itself you get the template and you get the laying pattern there 23 pounds and 99 pence that makes this one where is it? that's not that's me that's not it there you go you don't make me i'm afraid uh, oh you need a lot more fabric says hannah I know, it says she tried the jumpers on this morning. Anyway, oh, Alice Marion's watching, everyone. Alice Marion's in. I thought she was away on her boat at the moment. Anyway. Maybe she's got a TV on her boat. Or maybe. I hadn't even thought about that. This one here is the other one, the yellow and green one. Let's be trying to open the non-opened one. Yellow and grey, sorry. Yellow and grey. So you get the grey background. 
and then you get all the lovely fabrics. These ones with all the sunshine and yellow fabrics and the lovely orange, and that one is lovely. That's a really lovely fabric, that one. Plus your instructions and your layout and your template and your bond web. <clears throat> that one is... But hang on, that, that one's got brights written on it, is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. Because on the, the box the it says yellow, grey. Oh, okay, the other one's called bright beef. Okay, fine. Then this one here, which is your natural greens with the cream background. This is in the lead, this one. <clears throat> this one is in the lead. You get your bond web, you get all the lovely green fabrics, your gorgeous florals, your turquoises, your aquas, your apple. Then you get your instructions, your bond web, and your laying out and your template and everything. But there's no B on the, on the graphics. So please make sure that if you want this one, you take that number down, MLL801. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. So, so that one was Bright's. The one with the B in it is called Bright's B. And this one is just cushion. Natural, natural cushion. Right, okay. I've very quickly got to show you these other bundles that we've got here today for you because this is rather gorgeous. This is, oh, sorry, I put the right way up. There it, oh, there it is, there it is. This is from another day. Okay, so what you get, you get everything you need in the box. I'm not going to open the box because it's sealed. You get everything that's in the box, plus you get a tangerine fat quarter. 9th of March, this was demoed, 9th of March. So you get everything you need in there. So it's got, it, it's a panel that's already printed, is that right? That's right, yes. There's a panel that's already, oh, there you go, pre-printed panel. Uh, plus your tangerine, plus your threads. You get all of those in there, Hannah. All your threads. And your tangerine fat quarter, which will make the back of the cushion. That's obviously a blue one there that I just showed you, but it's the tangerine back. Then we've also got it with the dark blue. Navy, ignore that. Navy fat quarter. You get all of these the same and you get the pre-printed panel in there and all the instructions. And then if you want this one, I've got that one as well. So it just depends what colour backing you want on your cushion. $24.99. They've called that one Jade. Oh, it's got jade. Looks blue, doesn't it, on the thing? Uh, okay, that's that one. And then very, very quickly, if you've got somebody who just wants to start sewing or have a go at this, these are fantastic. This is called your applique picture kit. Now, what number are you going to put in first? This one first. This is orange blue, so you get the hoop. <clears throat> Excuse me, you get the calico, you get the buttons, you get the fabric, you get the instructions, you get the bond web, you get your templates, everything in there for £18 on the dot. That's that one. And that makes that one. Good if you're a beginner. And then the other one. Oh, this is nice. I like this one better. <clears throat> Not loud favourites, this is my favourite. <laughs> Hoop, calico, buttons, uh, instructions, templates, bonder web, and then your colours. Oh, that's their lovely colours together, those, aren't they? £18, green and purple. Yours will be a different colour, if that's the design you'll have. OK, back to Catherine, I don't think, and I'll just take a slurp of my water. I'm... I'm <clears throat> gluing things onto the iron. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, no, it's only a tiny bit. We're all right, we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have Elliot to You deal nearly caught me there. <laughs> we have, uh, my husband made me buy a separate iron at home to, um, what, so just for my sewing because I used to stick it up so much. Oh no. I know. You need an applique mat. They didn't, give me, the uh, they didn't give me one of those. Hmm? Didn't give me one of those. Anyway, you can see that I'm starting to build the picture, <clears throat> picture yeah. up with the little pieces oh. and when I when I make this I do the main bits first and things like the little ladybird and the little bee I've put in later on because okay. they are really small 
So I'll just get my main layout first. Hang on, what have I got? That one's going that way a little bit. Okay. Half the stock of this one's gone already. Um, when you're happy, I know I've got another one to put in there, but we'll we'll carry on with showing you what okay. to do. You want to just gently iron it all into place. Again, a few seconds over it so that it sticks it all down nicely because you don't want it to peel up as you then start no. to sew. Christopher likes the yellow and grey one best. Alison Marion's got Alison Marion has gone long story, John. Dot 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 dot. Oh. Oh no. That doesn't sound so good, does it? No, I hope everything's all right, Mama Bebe. And this, these little irons are brilliant for this, actually. Yeah, they certainly are. Yes. Okay. <laughs> for ironing on the wrong side, don't you mean? <laughs> <coughs> so when you've got everything stuck down how you want it, and uh -huh. you're happy with your layout, you need to stitch it. Right. Now, I have, I've designed this to do normal stitching, normal on your machine, but there is absolutely nothing to stop you doing free motion if you want to. There's right. nothing to stop you hand embroidering it if you want to. Um, you can choose your personal preference. Um, but I just thought, because there's quite a lot of free, free motion around, and, and sometimes it's just quite nice to do careful sewing. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. <laughs> and, not and not everyone wants not to do um, free motion. No, exactly. Uh, and you can get a very similar effect just setting your machine up and doing uh, normal stitching. Um, I've ma mainly used a straight stitch. But on some of them, you could use a zigzag. You could use um, some of your decorative stitches if you want to. Again, it's an opportunity to have a little bit, be a little bit creative, and uh -huh. have a little bit of an experiment. So we're going to start. I'm going to start going around some of my leaves, and you want to stitch nice and closely to the edge with right. your plique so that it doesn't start to peel up. Um, but sometimes you, if you get that nice effect when you're close to the edge with a straight stitch, you then get a tiny little bit of fraying, and I quite like that look. It gives it that sort of nice, nice for a sticky home. No, exactly. Amanda says, morning, John and Catherine, sneakily looking while at work. It was great to see you again, and back to our workshops, Catherine. So Amanda That's Amanda who you said hello oh, to. Oh, Amanda. I don't, did, you, did, you, did you see John right at the start, Amanda? Because he said hello to you. He you a kiss. Sheila says, hello, John, nice, what, oh, hang on. I'll start again. Sheila says, hi John, nice shirt. What's happened to your very large water bottle? Is Neil, Neil demonstrating the electric scissors by cutting the green cutting board like he did when he was demonstrating last time? I've just bought the rainbow fabric. Uh, first of all, my, I forgot my, water, my big water bottle, so I brought my smaller one. But this is big enough for the show. Um, and yes, the rainbow fabric's gorgeous. It's extra wide. And yes, Neil is doing the um, electric scissors, but I've no idea what what he's going to do they've yet. Got a, they've he's got a very practicing. big cutting board down here. Maybe they he's better got not it be that one. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's not allowed anywhere near that one. So we're just carefully going, going round. We've got a nice bright green on this, which matches. But you can use a contrast yeah. um, if you want it, to, want it to stand out. It's, again, your choice. You can change the colours for the different flowers. It's, it's just, I really like saying that's quite creative, John, and it, it's kind of a chance to... To just like, yeah, be a bit artistic, I think, uh -huh. with your sewing for yeah. a change, isn't it? Also, this will, people who do sewing normally, <clears throat> this will come a second nature to them, whereas the free motion embroidery takes a little bit of getting used to, doesn't it? It does. It's a really <clears throat> different, it's a really different feeling, isn't it? Yeah. But I... It's quite nice sometimes. I mean, if, you, if you're a dressmaker, you're used to kind of whizzing thing up, things up. But it's quite nice to do something that you've got to do quite slowly and carefully sometimes. Uh-huh. I find. So we're just going around all the edges in one go. And would you change your thread to match what you're stitching, or would you do it all in the same colour? I would probably change my threads. I mean, on my examples, you can see from the picture here, I've actually used darker oh, hang threads on. Just so, they, on that, so they stand out. He's just coming now, hang on. There you go. Yeah, so you can actually see I've used darker threads. So that is part of the decoration to make the threads stand uh -huh. out. So I quite like a contrast. Yeah. Um, I think it depends how confident you feel about your own sewing. Yeah. So, you know, if you're a beginner, maybe, and you're a bit worried it's going to be wobbly and you don't want that wobbly look, 
then um, match your threads because it won't stand out as much. Yes, I mean, you can see on, <coughs> on my little bluebells here, they're not perfect, they are a bit wobbly, but it does give it that little sort of, it makes it look a little bit free motion yeah, doesn't definitely. it, actually? I think you've got you've got the opportunity to kind of do it to suit your style. Yeah. Now, would you use a zigzag or not? Just always a straight stitch. Um, I have used a zigzag on some of them. On the seed head ones, on the sort of thin stems, I've used a zigzag. Okay. Uh, my machine at home's got a really nice blanket-like stitch that I like to use for applique because it gives it a really hand-sewn look oh, okay. that's very nice as well. So if you've got a machine with fancy stitches on, then, um, you know, try them out. This is a nice opportunity to try them all out, yeah, isn't exactly, it? Yeah, exactly, definitely. And you'll see on this particular design, there's a couple of the flowers that don't have or what, one flower on this is a couple on the seed head design that don't have a fabric stem. We've just stitched those details on. Oh, okay, let's have a look at that you. earlier. Let's look at that the seed so. head um, cushion. So you can see the little, yeah. Oh, there you go. So you can one. see but one yeah, on so that one. So the little one, flower there, that's not fabric. That's so. What kind of stitch is it? So that one, I think I've used like a triple stitch that right, I've got okay. on my machine. Yeah which I know traditionally used for jersey. But yeah, but no, if it works, works it's for that. Stitch, might as well use it. Okay. So I've gone around my little leaves there. I'll go around the flower and then we'll do, I'll talk through how to put all those little details on. Uh, Julia, Julie says, good morning, cheerful cherubs. I think she's talking about <laughs> us. Uh, what is to stop anyone just dropping the feed dogs and using the normal foot? Um, I, well, have you got an answer to this? I don't know. Could, your what, normal it foot will grip your fabric. Yeah, I was going to say, So yes. You, yes, you can drop the feed dogs, but you, uh, you need a foot that's not going to go down on your fabric. So yeah. the reason you use a free motion or a quilting foot is because it doesn't grip on yeah, top. Yeah, or the darning foot, which bobs up and down and everything. Yes, yes. because otherwise it's going to stick, isn't it? Uh, there is the odd person that says that you could do it without a foot at all, but it's not very safe because you've got no guard near your fingers. And Christopher says, are you two are very jolly on such a rainy day. What's the <laughs> foot you're using, Catherine? She can't, he can't see when oh, I think so. I think it's the um, embroidery foot on here. To be quite honest with you, it was the one that was on it when I got okay, the machine so ready. I, I haven't changed it, but it's slightly clearer than your standard foot yes, so you can see a little bit better exactly where you're stitching oh, so that's quite is, useful can you see so that's quite useful for when you're doing a and you yeah. want to see the edge and you want to see where you're going i think they call i don't Elna call that the applique foot i'm not sure oh, it's, satin, oh, it's a satin stitch foot but most machines come with one i think these days don't they yeah. with a nice be because when you've got decorative stitches on your machine, you want to kind of see what they're doing and it lets you do yeah. that. But a standard foot will work just as well. Elliot says on his machine, that one's called the satin stitch foot. Obviously all different um, makes call them different things. I think it's because it's got a wide, where your stitch, where your needle's going down, it's got quite, apart from being plastic so you can see it, it's actually got a wide opening. So it is a, a little nice bit wider, that. yes, that's right. Uh, very wide, says Elliot. Very wide. <laughs> He's in one of those moods today. <laughs> He's what, what, Elliot? You know you what? He can't see his feet, he says. Well, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because they're under the desk? No, it's because he's got something in the way. He can't see his feet. His belly. He's got a very tight T-shirt on today. He's coming today, like, thinking he's Mr. Muscle Man today. So when you're going round a sort of tricky cut with lots of curves like this, you can see that I'm stopping to adjust the foot. So, because you can't steer round a whole curve. Yeah, so you've yeah. got to stop and adjust the foot every pivot, so often. So. That's the word, pivot. What are you saying, Elliot? Oh, he's looking forward to the friendship fabric, he says. <laughs> well, there's going to be all sorts of comments flying around, isn't there, then, John? Oh, well, you yes. always is when they're the Elliot in. Right. 
So then you can come, obviously you stitch all your nice big pieces on. Yep. When you want to come to things like, so we've got the, the stems and the little bee trail and the very small bits of the bee. So I actually draw these in to give myself something to follow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so you're welcome to trace it off my, off my template because you certainly through the white fabric, you'll be able to see or you can do it by hand. Yeah. Yeah. So you it just gives a nice light box. Exactly. So you can just see where you're going to go. Okay, my question is, how did you do the, bee, the bee's eye? That is... Well, now I, can just, I just noticed that you've got stitching around, then there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little... There is, I'm trying to remember. I'm just looking at it over there and trying to remember. Okay, how, look, just look. examine it, John, very slightly. Uh, yeah, it's time. Let me shelf. get off my sword and I can have a look. Because I can't... I can't I'm not sure what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's hand-stitched, is it? Or is it a French knot? Did I, did I do a French knot? No, it's, you didn't do a French knot. It's like a little zigzag. I must have made my zigzag really tiny. Tiny, tiny. Yeah. Look, can yeah. you see that there? The other thing that you can do, my, uh, some machine, ah, some machines, that's what, uh, oh, is have, a, have a tiny star. It's a star. Yeah, it looks like one of the tiny stars. And it says this machine hasn't got a star. I'm going to put it back on the shelf now, Lucy. You might want to come off me. So I pencil in where I'm going to go, but then stitch over it. Um, pencil or the fr or friction pen, just something to give yourself a guideline. I wonder if I can turn it to. A, a, we could do this with a zigzag. The, um, the st I was going to say the stitches are all down the side. Don't know if it's got the triple on that one. It ha hasn't. I've just oh, put a zigzag on. Oh, okay. Crazy Lorraine says, morning, wet and windy here. Love doing the applique. Very pretty, Catherine. Thank you. I just want to do... Um, so when I did the B, yeah. um, I did the, the yellow base and you can see I've... Oh, hang on, just I've put it down. Sti really. Sorry, no, no, yellow no, no, base no. and just stitched around that. Yeah. And then I've done the stripes over the top uh -huh. and the little wings right at the end. You can't hardly see the little wings. Can't see the wings on the top. No. Table. And when they're really small like that, you may find you can't use the bond web because they're so small. When you come to peel it off, you just end up fraying it away. Oh. So my tip for the really small bits is a little bit of glue stick. Okay, yep, yeah, we've got the and you can oh, just uh, got in the or or if you've got your five oh five, a little squirt of that, just something to hold it down while you stitch it. Brilliant. That is what I I use. Yeah, uh, and it doesn't mess up your sewing machine needle. No, no. Right. Just keeping my eye on the time for you, just to see what we can. Oh yes, do. yeah. How many minutes we got left, please? I'll Five my, more minutes. I'm on going demo, to put please. my little, uh, show you my little ladybird on the side. So the very small bits of squ uh, little squares that you've got in mm -hmm. your pack that I spent yeah, <laughs> a while, hours. a while cutting out, are for your bumblebee and your ladybird. Nurse Julie, first message across our bottom this morning. Morning, John and Catherine. Nurse Julie here. Lovely to see you both, jolly and well. Love these cushions from Julie. Have you just finished your shift? I'm doing well. Plonked that right in the middle. Now, if I was teaching, that was, that if I was teaching that, I'd be going now. Put it near the edge so oh, you don't waste all the exactly. fabric. <laughs> there you are, Telly, with millions I of people know. watching. Well, not sure about millions, but. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, on just Sky, we could be in 3.6 million people's homes. Could we really? Yeah. Goodness me, I, I'd better not to know that really. No. What, the lady that you met yesterday? Oh, yes. 
Um, Johanna's just telling me about she's met some new friends this weekend in the now that the um, social things are open. Still socially distanced, don't worry. But in the pub and everything, she's met some new friends. Oh, we've had a lovely week having groups back in. Oh, I So bet. nice. It's really nice. So We uh, haven't done much sewing, but we've done a lot of chatting. Well, no, but if you think about it, none of us have seen each other for a year. Yeah, really, it's, it's, and Zoom isn't the same. No. I mean, it's been good enough, but... It's, yeah. yeah, really nice to have... have so are they all, are in. your tables, have you separated your tables? So I'm, I'm, yeah, looking enough, we've got like, we sort of have, they're like tables of four, but they, they all kind of go, they're like big office almost set out. So yeah. when you're sitting opposite each other, you've got well over two metres oh, between yeah, you. Perfect. So we've been able to spread everything out brilliantly. And then everybody has their own machine and their own ironing board and their own area. So it's it's great. Oh no, but we have to. We, you know, I, I think a lot of shops. I was saying when I came on air the other day, I went to one supermarket and the the state the sanitising station's gone from outside, and the ladies were all in the shop. The, I only saw ladies do it. I'm sure some men were doing it as well. They had scrapers. They were scraping off the stickers on the floor saying "Stay two meters apart." And I'm like, it's but not. But we're still supposed to be doing it's not it. Over. No, you know, not, it's not at all. Over. No, we still have to adhere to yeah. it. So yes, we are. But how lovely that you can do classes and sit and look at each other. And yes. Things, well, the thing is, because you're sat over two meters apart, you don't have to sit with your mask on. It's only when you're less than the one yes, yes. that you have to. Mm. So it's really nice. Everyone can come back and we can sit and sew and we can chat. And yeah. Oh, yeah, it's nice. lovely. Really nice. Okay, so I've put my little ladybird on there, so I'm just going to go around it and put its little little legs on. Right, I think we'll go back to a straight one for that. So you're just going to add your details like that. Now, in a, if I was doing this at home, I would probably have changed my thread to a red or a black yes. now. Oh yeah, we're going to have a green one then, a green ladybird. A green ladybird. <laughs> Susan says, I'm fascinated watching Catherine. I'm going to try this soon. Margaret said, John, you're looking tan this morning. You've been in the salon. No, no, I've got exactly the same makeup on as usual. It's, I think it's because, Margaret, this is a new camera. And I think you're seeing me, it's very clear. And it's just the same makeup as normal. No. I've, I've got a growth. I forgot to have a, 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 a shave this morning. So I've got a little grey beard underneath, which might be. I will tell you what it is, John. I am looking particularly pale this morning. Oh, is that As I left the house, my husband went, you look really pale today. Oh, <laughs> that's so, nice. so you see, the contrast yeah. probably is greater. <laughs> that's nice, your husband, to bolster you up before you leave the house for a day work, day work on telly. <laughs> I don't mind. I quite look, like looking healthy. Thank you. Elliot said he's going to work on the colours of the camera this week. I need, a, I need a little sort of bronzing filter just to make me look a bit more tanned. Yeah. Also, I think it's because I've got bright yellow behind me. That automatically makes me look tan, doesn't it? Look. <laughs> yeah. Cut your little threads as you go. You want to do, you do want to do a little reverse as you um, stitch things on so that it all stays secure because you don't want it unraveling. Uh -huh. um, and I'm just going to give them a, some little legs. I think, do you lady, I think ladybirds have six legs, don't they? I've given mine six legs. Do they? Am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> have they, Elliot? <laughs> Elliot would say yes. No, they're not eight, but I thought they had four and two of them were antennae. I could be wrong. For some reason, the reverse button isn't working on here today. Do what? The reverse isn't working on here today. I don't know what I've done. Christopher says, isn't Catherine lovely? She's pale, but <laughs> lovely. <laughs> pale and interesting. <laughs> I've always been really pale. When I was at school, you know, at, like at secondary school, you're not supposed to wear makeup. Well, I used to wear makeup every day. But because I was so pale, no one could tell. And, ah. if I, and if I didn't wear it, the teachers would ask me if I was ill. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, have been yeah. a, I'd have been all right in Victorian times. Yes, you would, Jeff. <laughs> and they do have six legs. Um, and oh, we're all right up, then. Yeah. That's good. And we've just got like a minute and a half left on the sewing. All right. So depending which design you've chosen, I'll just mention on the seed head ones, yeah. Um, I haven't got that. I haven't got that one just to show. Oh, we can show it, Elliot. Show this picture of the seed head one, please. Either of them, but not the one that Catherine's working on. Okay, so you can see on that there there's go. like the tiny little dots on the, a couple of those seed heads. So I add those right at the end. So you put your main shapes on, 
and then with that do your little stalks yeah. and then put your tiny little dots on at the end and with those you might need a dab of your glue stick or your 505. Brilliant. Now, all of them have been very popular and all of them have got the same amount in baskets. So all I'm saying is, if you want them, you need to start now checking out. Now the demo's over. If you do definitely want them, please start checking out. Uh, now, Catherine will be back in an hour and she's going to be doing the tote bag that comes from an exclusive panel that we've done in two different colours, right? But in the meantime, let me just um, recap all of these. So I've got here the one with the bumblebee on, the one we were just seeing here. So there's your, your finished um, layout, your layout pattern. Hang on, let me just put that in shot. There you go. Then you've got all your templates on the back of there, reversed, ready, because once you put them on the bond web, they're the other way round. You get your bond web, you get your white fabric for your cushion, whether you do a, a, for the front and the back, you can do an envelope or a zip uh, uh, back. Then you've got your little uh, instruction booklet there with ring bind. You haven't had to sit and bind all those. Oh, gosh, no. No, <laughs> Well, no, you say, oh, gosh, no, and then you sit and cut out a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, a little bit of black, plus all your fabrics here to make the lovely um, uh, pattern. Way over half of those have gone. Way over half of those have gone. And that makes this one. There you go. Okay. And then the next one is I've got yellow and grey next. This one, you have a grey cushion. Again, enough to cut, to make the front and the back. You get your bond web, you get your instructions, you get your layout and your templates, and then you get all these lovely, joyous, bright colours, like the sunshine, the yellow, the yellow spot. You get the orange, you get that gorgeous floral print. £23.99 will get you that, and that makes the grey one. There we go. Lovely, same amount of those gone. Then I've got the uh, natural green one. This one, the cushion of this one is cream. And then you've got your bond web. Then you've got all your lovely, your apple green, your sage green, that beautiful floral print, your aquas, your turquoises. You get your layout, you get your instructions, everything you need there. £23.99 for that one too. Same amount. Of, they're all equal. They're all level pegging. They're all absolutely level pegging, all three different choices. Right, now I've got this cushion here very quickly, which is an embroidery cushion. The, the panel that comes in is actually printed, so you know where you've got to stitch. And then in the box, you get the panel and you get the instructions. And then you can, uh, okay, you can get different coloured backings. This is the, what they're calling jade. On your telly, it looks a bit bluer than it is. Plus all your embroidery threads. £24.99. That's jade. So your back, oh, yeah, I can show you that one. Is that one. Right, then we've got it in navy. So you get exactly the same, you get exactly the same kit, but you get the navy. Now that's a mot the mottle navy. Elliot's singing the, uh, the, you know, the village people song now. Oh, he's trying to squeeze on his sailor outfit as well. 24 pounds, I used to wear one all the time, back in the early 80s. Yes. And then we've got the orange one. Why? Because they were very trendy and they used to go to the What's It um, Kensington Market and they used to sell all sorts of things like that. Tangerine, this one. Tangerine, that one's beautiful. Then I've got these two other kits here, which are very good for beginners. So I've got the first one here, which is your um, hoop and you've got your orange and your green fabrics in there. Plus your buttons, plus your calico, plus your bond web, plus your instructions. And that one makes this one. As I say, very, very good for beginners, that one. And then, so that's the orange and blue version. We also have it in purple and green. Calico, hoop, buttons. Oh yeah, now the picture I'm going to show you aren't the correct fabrics, but these are the fabrics you're going to get. So it's purple, pink and green. And that's the pattern you're going to make. But it's not in that colourway. Obviously, that was a different colourway. Uh, instructions and bond web, everything in there. Uh, £18. £18. Right, don't go anywhere. We've got fabulous fabrics coming up next. Uh, that lovely um, 
rainbow fabric you've been seeing behind Catherine for the whole hour. That's an extra wide backing, brand new in today. And lots of other goodies. They've got some brand new fabrics. So we will see you. Thank you, Catherine. We'll see you in an hour. And I'll see you in three minutes. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Oh, you said you were going to cut to the photo first. <laughs> now that's confusing now, isn't it? That's confused me completely. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that fabric. That is brand spanking new today. It's extra wide backing. You don't need to use it as backing. You can use it for anything you like. But look at that gorgeous spectrum of colours. It's up there. It's up there. It's 108 inches wide. Uh, what else can I tell you? It's 100% cotton. That's what you'll get for your 12 99 But obviously, if you want a metre, two metres, it comes off the bolt. So you can have as, the piece as big as you want it to be. Look. Yeah, now if you're looking on the website, it looks like it's a white fabric with a stripe of rainbow down the middle. It's not at all. That, there you go. So that's what it looks like on the website. So that shows the colours, but that's it. Like, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's, uh, people are already buying it, by the way. I need to warn you, people are buying it. 
12.99 for half a meter. You can have whatever length you want because uh, it comes off the bolt. 100% cotton. It's it's quilt. They call it quilt batting, but you can make a frock out of it. You can make dungarees out. You make a dress out of it. You can do whatever you want out of it. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? Pillowcases uh, or, or fussy cutting. Can you imagine if you use that for EPP fussy cutting? Oh, we're going over there now, are we? No, we're not going over there. I went like that, ready for it. But not... there you go. There you go. Elliot needs to take a shot of it. That's all. Yeah, hurry up. Oh, he's not ready. Ready? Right. There's a photo now of it. Look. <laughs> that one will not be going on the website. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it disappeared. Isn't it lovely though? How it, it just goes through all those beautiful, pure, bright colours. It's lovely, isn't it? So it's, yeah, half the stock's gone already. Half the stock has gone already. Brands banking you today. Uh, you can use it for all sorts of things. Because um, uh, Jackie bought some of the squiggle one and she's made uh, dungarees for her grandchildren out of them. I know, you can use it for anything. It's lovely, really, really lovely cotton. Uh, lovely to make in a flag if you go to carnival. Uh, lovely to make, uh, what else? I'm just trying to, oh, blinds, curtains. Curtains would be nice out of it, wouldn't they? Teepee in the garden, a poofet. There it is, look, that now you do, if you want a meter, it will come joined together. It comes off a bolt. Back of a quilt would look lovely though, wouldn't it? Duvet cover, how wide? 108 inches wide. You're, that, that's a bit raggedy edged, obviously, that one. Okay, are you finished? They're blaming me for the way I've hung it up. Thank you very much indeed, Hannah. Oh, thought you were going back again. Okay, we're moving on, moving on, moving on. Should we do this uh, paint splatter one now then? This is brand new as well. Again, it's 108 inches wide. How much? Quarter of the stock has already gone on pre-order. 108 inch quilt back by Whistler Studios. Again, this is just magnificent, isn't it? Look, that's half of it. That's half your width, half of it. So it's twice the width of that. I'll pop it down the table so you can have a look at it. I love it. I love the paint splatter dungarees, you see. Now, there's a, there's a lady that makes dungarees that my niece buys. What, what, what? Hey, what's it called? Lucy and Yak. She would use this to make dungarees out of and things like that. I always remember we did a competition on this morning to make a party dress for Melinda Messenger. And one of the boys uh, designed a dress and then actually made fabric like this, splattered fabric like this with paint. Okay, uh, uh, Elliot's mum has dungarees like this, but it's actually coloured, uh, covered in paint. It's not. A... Oh, actually, who was it that painted their own fabric on Great British Toby this week? You see, Damien, he had oil all over his denim, didn't he? Lovely as a, a blind. It's 108 inches wide. It's 100% cotton. Uh, you can make frocks out of it, a shirt out of it. Would be quite nice as well, wouldn't it? Cushions, yeah, cushions would be nice. Yeah, let's be great because when he, you know, dropped his egg on it in the morning and things like that for his breakfast, he wouldn't know, would you? Oh, now please be careful. Half the stock's gone. When loads of people got it in baskets, we can't tell how many, how much you've got in your basket until you check out. So please be careful on that one. The what one? It's the same width as one on the wall, 108 inches wide. <laughs> Actually, together, imagine how brilliant they'd look together. Do you know what? You could do a whole piece quilt, couldn't you? You could make the front out of this and the back out of that. And then it's uh, reversible, isn't it? But got the same colours, the same colours in here as are in that one. Twelve ninety nine for half a metre. That's lovely. Oh, it's even nicer in focus, isn't it? Kath says, lovely, <coughs> lovely quilt backing. Good to have in your stash. It is Kath. 
definitely, both of them. Right, okay. Now, the next one, we have had, in, we have had it on air before, and it sold out. The minute we showed it to you, it sold out. The diagonal. Now, again, they've used that painting technique. It looks like it's been painted on. Let me hold it up for you so you can see. Now, remember, this is half of it. Half of it, look. £12.99. pence. So it's 108 inches wide, 100% cotton. You what, what? Eric did what? What on here? Rainbow stripe, <coughs> extra wide backing. Elliot met and saw Eric this week, who none of you will know because he never worked at Sang Quarter or Sang Street. He used to work at Rocks and Co. 12 99 He's lovely, Eric. 12 99 Beautiful colours, aren't they? Now again, you see, that's going to work brilliantly. If you mix that, that, or the rainbow one, they're all going to look so lovely together, aren't they? Oh, Catherine's left a glue stick here, must remind her. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now again, you can uh, this is you can buy as much as you want. It comes off the roll. Message for Emma on my bottom. Uh, morning, John. Loving the bright coloured fabrics on such a rainy Friday morning from Emma in West Yorkshire. Oh, is it still horrible out there? <clears throat> Lovely, beautiful colours. Last time we had this on, it completely sold out within an instant. Twelve ninety nine for half a meter, hundred percent cotton, one hundred and eight inches wide. Could do so much with it, couldn't you? Imagine a great big circular skirt made out of that with the, the stripes going all over the place. Now, is it friendship or denim? Friendship time. Again, 108 inches wide. Brand spanking new. Hang on a sec, there we go. Oh, there's so much to read on this one. Life is better with friends. Where have you just read that? A friendship is like a rainbow between two hearts. A single rose can be my garden. A single thread, Fred, friend, my world. <laughs> you are amazing, my friend. Remember that. With a friend, you will never walk alone. Oh, that's upstairs. That was a funny noise. There. A loyal friend laughs at your jokes when they're not so good and sympathises with your problems when they're not so bad. Silence. Well, I was thinking about Little Paul for that one. Silence is the real conversation between friends. Friends have big hearts. Friendship is a golden thread which binds us together. Oh, look, it's a needle and thread. Friends are important because they are there when no one else is. A true friend is the person who can safeguard your deepest secrets. I don't know how I did I giggle during that one. You are amazing, my friend. Remember that good friends are like snowflakes, all different and all beautiful. To, that never stops, does it? Take, true friends take us by the hand so we know we are never alone in the journey. Aww. Now this one, they've cut the end of this one off. The, the, the friend is someone who knows all about you and it should say on here, and still likes you. Yeah? Be a good friend. A friend is a friend till the end. Oh, the most I can do for my friend is simply be his friend. Oh. Best friends forever. The most beautiful discovery true friends make is that they can grow separately without growing apart. A friend knows the song in my heart and sings it to me when my memory fails. That's Hannah, because she's always singing old songs, isn't she? <laughs> there are some people in life that make you laugh a little bit louder, smile a bit bigger, and make life a little bit better. Ah, oh, BFFs. A friend is the family that you picked. That's like Elton John's new song, isn't it? What's it? It's brilliant, isn't it? 
Yeah, he's got two new songs out, but one of them is with a lady and it's brilliant and it's all about the family that you choose. This be, I mean, this is 108 inches wide. Uh, it'd be good for cushions, it'd be good for a frock, it'd be good for a shirt, it'd be good for dungarees. Memory quilt, this would be lovely on the backing, wouldn't it? Oh, okay, the little pyramid shapes you mentioned earlier on the friendship fabric are American sweets called Kisses. Hershey's Kisses. That's from um, Alice and Mary, Marion Allison. Where have they gone, though? Were they, were they on a different fabric? Oh, yes, there they are. They look different from this angle. They're not very nice, though, though. In my own opinion, the Hershey's Chocolate Kisses. Yeah, the, ugh. lovely isn't it a friend is a friend is one of the nicest things you can have and one of the best things you can be oh Hannah says food is her friend Oh, isn't that lovely? And I'll stop reminiscing now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm giggling myself because Elliot's still going on about the fact I said he couldn't see his toes anymore. Sash coat. This has been on before. Where's the blue one? Oh, the blue one's on tomorrow. The blue one's on tomorrow. Again, this is 108 inches wide. There you go. 108 inches wide. This is like in a brick red. Wine, we've no. Have we called it wine? Wine gold. Oh, Margaret, she says, all those sayings are so true of you. Are you saying that tongue in cheek now, Margaret? Julie says you can make children's curtains and applique aeroplanes and bumblebees on it. Which one were you? Which one were you on about now, Julie? Oh, completely out of context now. Okay, hang on, let's have a look then. I agree, John. I don't like those kisses either. <laughs> Yeah, but I bet you like the other ones. So who's it from? Oh, North, no name. No name. Look, somebody in North, oh, the whole of Northamptonshire. I don't like those kisses. Oh, I'm a Yorkshire lass and only speak the truth, says Margaret. Thank you. What do you mean? No, they're not wonky. My face is wonky. Elliot says, why do I never put my glasses on straight? I do put them. I do put them on straight, it's just that my ears are different heights. So when I put glasses on, they're always wonky. You don't wear glasses, Elliot. Yeah, nobody sees you there, though, do they? Righty-ho, next. Now, if you're watching uh, Great British Stonebe this week and they put, they were sticking bits of denim together to make a fabric, weren't they? Well, look at this, you don't need to on this one. Look, this again, it's 108 inches wide. Bag making. Make a pair of jeans out of it. Beautiful, be beautiful on the back of a quilt, wouldn't it? So what have we called this one then? Ripped denim, extra, it's not denim, it's 100% cotton, quilting weight. Uh, Elliot will make a very soft jacket out of it. Oh, the rainbow Julie was talking about and striped backing. Make that lovely curtains, yeah. Uh, you can make a pouffet out of it. Be nice. A bean bag. Lovely big bean bag to sit on. Oh, what? Uh, actually, Mark Francis is making some trousers tomorrow. This would be nice out of the trousers to make the trousers in. Be nice. Any of the Fiona Hesford's um, designs would be nice in this. Leslie has said, I love kisses from good-looking men, especially from you. 
And it's Leslie from Northampton. Only Leslie doesn't say at the bottom, does it just says Northamptonshire. Leslie. Have we have we had a kiss then, have we? Oh no, Teresa. I'd settle a kiss from just about anyone at the moment. <laughs> Teresa. No, that's normally Hannah's mantra, that. Mm -hmm. 12.99. Laurie says, oh, here we go. Laurie says, after living in England for 44 years, I do not like Hershey's Kisses either, but I loved them as a kid. Laurie's from America. She's from, now I know this, where there are verandas around the houses and they sit swinging, you know, like Oklahoma. Where was Oklahoma set? Where is Oklahoma? <laughs> in where? Oh, I don't know. But she, when she was a child, she'd have worn a gingham skirt and talked like Aunt, Aunt, what's it? Not Aunt Sally. That was completely different, wasn't it? Is she from Illinois? How do you know that? Oh, she's put it. She said, how do you know that, Elliot? She's from Illinois. Oh, there's a song about that, isn't there? Windy City. Oh, no, she's arrived at the Windy City all the way from Illinois. Doris Day. Doris Day. Fiona's dungarees and his ripped denim fabric would be good, they would, Julie. Becky says, wow, 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 look at that rainbow behind John. Isn't it lovely? There's only 10 metres left, Becky Alexander Frost. There it is. <laughs> oh, I look so old, don't I? Rainbow graphics coming back in. Oh, I've disappeared now. Lynn said, I would make a waistcoat with that to go with the jeans. I love it, says Lynn. The denim one, yeah? Right, the rainbow's most popular, and the second most popular is the denim. Denim. Denim, 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 denim. What would you put in between? So, who was it about the denim? Um, Lynn. Lynn. Lynn, what would you put between that and your, your back? Would you put an um, a, a interfacing, a waistcoat? We just make it a soft waistcoat. Twelve ninety nine. I don't know why I'm stroking it. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I saw it on the trolley earlier and just thought it was really lovely. Right, OK. Oh, when we wish what I said now. No, John, you do not look hot. Hannah didn't even hear me say it. No, I did in the picture that Elliot took, right? Of the, my head in the in the shot here. Look, I look like a little old man, don't I? I'm jogging past. Now, have you ever seen me jog, Hannah? There you go, that's me jogging. I look slim on that one, don't I? This again, extra wide, it's brand new, it's lovely, it's very essence of William Morris, isn't it, this one? 12.99, it's called Beige Leaf, it's called Beige Leaf. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, Lynn would just put some interfacing in between. Uh, would look cover a chair, says Low. Lynn says behave, John. Oh, I don't know what I said there. Oh, Becky Alexander Frost bought some for their quilt. Why do I have the theme of Jaws in my head? Oh, singing. Dunum, dum. No, I was going to dum. Dunum, 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 dunum. Isn't that lovely, though? We're very close. Me and this fabric. <laughs> Don't need to kiss anyone today. Kay says, hi, John, just got the denim fabric, going to take Fiona's so, oh, yeah, make so, so girl hat. You'll have a lot of fabric left over. Be lovely, that, Kay, really nice. Yeah, but they'd all be the same, Elliot. He said, Elliot said you can make a hat for every day of the week from that. Hannah needs lots of to make lots of hats because she keeps leaving them in places, apparently. Oh, I tell you what, there was a lovely advert for the coffee shop around the corner to your house this week. The denim reminds me of Borrow. Oh, yes, Nicola, it does. You could do embroidery along the seams. Yes, you could. Now, who was it? It was somebody goes there, Hannah, 
Somebody famous goes there. No, it wasn't Joe Lysett. Somebody really famous. And um, I kept saying, oh, that looks really lovely. I'll have to try it there. I'll have to try it there. And then I realised it was the cafe around the corner to yours. Yeah? You have to pass that weird lady, though, don't you, to get there. Yeah. 12 99 Anyway, that's beautiful. I'll bring that back later because we've got some William Morris later, haven't we, today? We haven't even got to the new fabrics yet. Well, they were new, obviously, but I haven't got the new, new fabrics. Right. This is all brand new. Okay, I've got a mega bundle of 74.49. Uh, tone on tone fabric. You get seven and a half meters, so 15 different fabrics. But now I just, it's like a new, look at this, right? Look. So you've got black squirrels. Do you want to do it from upstairs, actually, Elliot? Very popular tonal bundle. So we're starting off with this one. There you go. So we've got the white squiggle on black. Oh, oh, look, it must be made by the squiggle extra. Then now these aren't extra wide, are they? These are just normal half meters. They're squiggle people. Then we've got, now it's very a la bijou, isn't it, this? So they're little triangles on black. So you've got the three black ones. You've got the spirals, the squiggle, and the triangles. Then you've got the spiral on that beautiful elephant grey. Then you've got your squiggle on your elephant grey. And you've got your triangles on your elephant grey. Then we go to a crew, or dark cream, clotted cream, spirals, squiggle, and uh, triangles. Then look at this one. This one's nice. So this one's a rich, rich cream. Almost looks like the colour of the um, seeded cotton. But then they've got like a caramel swirl, a caramel squiggle, and a caramel triangle. Then we've got white on white. So that's white fabric with white swirls, spirals. White fabric with white squiggles. And then white fabric with white triangles. Well, I don't know if it is white, actually. It's ivory cream. Beautiful, isn't it? So the whole bundle, 15 different fabrics, seven and a half metres, for 74.49. Now these tonal bundles usually f absolutely fly out. I think they've got a helicopter upstairs today. There you go. Can you just see the triangles on that one? And then you've got the squiggle. Squiggle there. And then you've got the spirals. Now, they're all available by the half meter as well. If you don't want the mega bundle, but look at that. that how useful is this going to be? How useful are all of these blacks and greys and creams and ecrus going to be? Brilliant stash build to that. Okay, right. So which ones am I going to do first then, Ham? Oh, you want to do all the squiggly ones first. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll do black squiggle. Oh. Pfft. Okay. Right. Here's white on white. This will be lovely to look at now when it's at home. Now it's 44 inches. What? Nothing's wrong with it. I just wanted to measure it to just feel like 44. That was all. I'll be, I'm bound to be wrong. I always am. No, it's 44 inches wide. 44 inches wide, machine washable, cotton, 100% cotton. White, tone on tone, white scribble, that one's called. Nice. Now, I've got cream scribble with the caramel squiggle on it. Yeah. So then I've got this one here, which is cream with caramel squiggle. Natural, they call it. Natural. Oh, 
On the, on the website, the background looks a lot paler than that. That's a lovely, rich um, cream colour, beautiful cream colour. We've called it natural. Oh, it's only 4 99 I didn't see the first one, sorry. 4 99 far for me to that. Now, I love it because if you love the, you know, the squiggle um, extra wide backing we sell, the squiggles are further apart, aren't they? Whereas on this, they're much closer together. It's lovely, 100% cotton. Machine washable, 44 inches wide, quilting weight cotton, 4.99. Right. Then the next one will be cream, like a dark cream with white squiggle on it. There you go. That's lovely, isn't it? I had to choose which one you want. This is why the um, Mega Bundle's so enticing. I don't know why you'd use the word enticing. That was just fed to me from Elliot. I said it because I was confused by what you were enticing me with. Fabric bundles. Okay, now I've got grey squiggle. Pretty, isn't it, that one? I've only got one grey. Yep. On the website, it looks much like there's only one grey. There's only one grey, and this is it. There you go. What does it look like on the website, Hannah? Oh, yeah, it looks like a school grey on the website, doesn't it? It's that lovely mid, elephant to mid grey, that, isn't it? Beautiful. Then black. Oh, no, that goes in that part. Squiggle, white, it's black with white squiggle. Oh, no, is it white? Is it, though? It's like a soft grey, isn't it, the squiggle? Tone on tone. Remember, half a metre, 4.99, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Quilting weight. What was that, Elliot? Definitely a jet black, that one. $4.99. Right, we're going little triangles now. Hang on a second. So that one goes on that pile. That goes there. Turn it over. Little triangles, white on white. Or cream on cream. This one is L-E-Y-H-69. What? They've called, uh, let me just check that code. They've called this beige on white. Yeah, it's definitely white on white. There's no beige there, it's white on white. It's a soft white, it's not like an optical white. Beautiful. Very subtle, that isn't it? That'd be lovely. If you're going to make a quilt that's got, like, says put cream for the background, you could use that because it's just that slightly different textured look, isn't it? Quilts with nursery as well. Pastel colours. Or any, any. Any, any, any. Then I've got triangles. Now, these are like caramel on cream. Do you want the code? X S Y H forty five. Oh, they call this one gold on cream. Gold on cream. This one. Hannah would make a toy giraffe out of this. Four ninety nine for half a meter. Chicka chicka boom boom. It's lovely, I like that one. Very subtle, that one, isn't it? There it is on the website. 
Okay. Then I've got, now what do they call the next one then? Right, hang on. What number is it? Yeah, 15, DF8, DFYH15. This is called cream tossed triangles. You heard, Elliot. Four ninety nine half a meter. Cream tossed triangles. It does look a bit like a Angel Delight, doesn't it? That one. Other desserts are available. Four ninety nine for half a metre. Remember, you can have as much as you like because it comes off the bolt, this. Okay, now I've got soft grey. Okay, so, FJYH40, this is called navy triangles. Where's the navy? There's, I can categorically say there is no navy in there whatsoever. Lovely, isn't it? Definitely, definitely not navy. It's grey. It's darker grey on on a mid grey. That one. Then I've got black, which is grey triangles on black. I don't know what they'll have called it. Black toss triangles ending 93. Can you see those? Oh yeah. Four ninety nine half a meter. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the spirals. Okay, then. So this one here is white on white, so they could have called it purple on gold, but here we go. A Z Y H fifty nine. Now you see this, I think this would be lovely. If you're doing a wedding and you're making all your own um, table linen, wouldn't that be lovely as you like your napkins? Because it's really good quality cotton. Four ninety nine. this is half a metre. Lovely, it's called white tossed swirls, this one. Oh, you mean, um, no, who was the man that with the fabric? Because everyone's just, they're just uh, receiving it now because they're all putting it on Facebook saying it's just arrived and they love it. What was the fabric I had the other day? The brightly coloured fabric I had the other day with all the clocks and everything. That's it, Jason Yetta, Yenta. So what about him? You think you'd put it with this? Oh, controversial. What would be good fabric to look like dollies? Oh, these might be a bit patterned for dollies, unless you're making them clothes, I don't know. Cinnamon swirls, I haven't had one of those for years. Right, now I've got cream with caramel, but I shall give you the code. 29, they're numbers, not letters. Nice. Four ninety nine. This is called natural tossed swirls. Oh, again.
Four nine times. Lovely, isn't it? Those swirls, they look like that. Look caramelly. <laughs> Not that I'm hungry or anything. I'm quite, have, you, have, you had, have you had your breakfast yet? Oh, she's on her cell. Are you still doing that fasting thing? That's luck. Did you do it all over the two days off as well? That's very good. Normally Hannah gives up on things like that after about 20 minutes, but she's... 4 99 Lovely. Next one. Hannah's doing the producing as well as the directing, you know, at the moment. Or the directing as well as the producing. This one then is... That was about four numbers then. 67. That's pretty as well, isn't it? 4.99. This one's called Cream Toss Swirls. Yeah, it's kind of, I reckon this will become like our Bijou range and you'll see it in lots and lots of different bundles over the next um, few weeks and everything. Okay, in the grey. These are all a bit obvious, like this one's called grey tossed swirls. Jean says, morning, John, love your shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Jean. Right, now we've got, it'll be black, tossed swirls. Now, these take me back, did, did, did they used to have, when we were little, did we used to have like chewy sweets that were black and white like nougat? I don't know if they were licorice or mint, were they, but they were chewy and they were black and white and they went round in a swirl like that. Oh, Leslie said, not dollies, doilies, doilies. I don't think, don't think any of them would look like a doily because they're lace, aren't they? What do you want to make? I, I'm, I'm a bit confused, Leslie. How, what you going to... Oh, I'll start again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leslie, what do you mean? Would they look like doilies? Tell me a bit more detail and I'll, I'll give you an answer. A doily is usually a crocheted lace placemat. Or tatting. The rainbow on the wall... I've only got three metres of that left. If you've got, if you want this, I've only got three metres left. Everton mints, they were called. I thought, Leslie, weren't they hard, though? I thought Everton mints were like solid boiled sweets. 12 99 for half a metre. There's only three metres of that one left. That's brand new. Extra wide, 180 tread. This is the paint splatter one. And there's only eight metres of this one left. Eight metres. If you got that in your basket, please, please, please check out. Twelve ninety nine. Licorice toffee swirl says Vida. Ooh, that's what Elliot just said, licorice. When I first moved to London, my landlady, Mrs. Clark, used to put a piece, she used to, she what? No. Uh, Mrs. Clark was when I moved to East Putney, and every night I had one, I rented one room from her, and Deepak rented another room from her, and every night we'd come in, there'd be a piece of licorice on our pillow, uh, because she said she was worried that we'd left home. It was only my second degree. I'd already done one degree. I'd already been away from her for three years. But because uh, licorice kept you regular. Yeah? Yeah? Here you go. What's the matter, uh, 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 Elliot? Oh, more people messaging, messaging since licorice. 
Hey, will licorice worlds, John? Soft and chewy, says Julie. Gerardine says the sweets were... Oh, no, I know what Pontefract tea cakes were like. I love those, but they didn't have white in them, did they? Uh, lovely, cheerful fabric this morning, says Georgina. And then Led says, I'm doing an EPP cushion. It says use doilies and Everton... Doilies and Everton mints were hard on the outside, soft in the middle. Oh, I don't know what that means. EPP to use doily. That's very strange. Anyway, look, here we go. This is Tula Pink Designer Essentials. You get 22. Hang on. 22 fat quarters, 59.99. I did I say the same last time. Do apologise. But they're all really pure Tula Pink colours. They're going to go with any range that you've got of Tula Pinks. These are going to go with them. You get 22 fat quarters for 59.99. They, now, do you know what? These would look gorgeous with some of these, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? Look. Oh, oh, I love that. Look. Let's just cover that up there. There you go. Borders, whatever you're going to make out of them. Hang on, let's have a look at that one. Which one do you think? Oh, oh that's nice as well. The black triangles or the grey ones. This is the one Hannah would put with it. Oops. Tried to escape then, you see. Anyway, you get 22 Tula Pink Fat Quarters. They're all plain colours. They're going to go with any range that you have ever bought of Tula Pink fabric. These are going to go with them. That's sold out, Elliot, so don't show that. Thank you. Looks like a rainbow, Elliot says. Oh, and I've only got 15 of these left now. It's only been on once before. 14 now. It's only been on air once before. That was only last week. We launched these last week. Uh, I've just had the Tudor Pink Essentials delivered. They are gorgeous from Roxana. But then look what she called herself at the bottom. Zania. 59.99. They're beautiful, aren't they? Those colours in there. I know, I can't, right, hang on, 22. So, hang on, though, two pounds each, that'll be 44. Three pounds each would be... So you get two pink fat quarters for less than three pounds. No, that can't be right. Let me work that out. 60, yeah, yeah. 60 divided by 22. 272, in fact, that's not right. For a two pink fat quarter. The colours are beautiful as well. That's what I love about tulip pink colours. They're so pure, aren't they? Do you know what? When you break it down like that, that's amazing. Hannah's just going to have it and put it in her stash to look at. Let me show you the top there, look. Goes through from the pinks, the reds, the orange, the yellows, the greens, the lilacs, the blues, the pinks. Oh, single figures now. Single figures now. Okay, how much is a two pound what? £2.72 a fat quarter, that is definitely not right, is it? When you think of normally designer fat quarters are £5, pounds, aren't they? Gorgeous colours, great quality, crafter in County Durham. Today? She's done that today. That's a FIFO, that's not a message to me. That's an independent... They're brilliant. I haven't, I'm not, I haven't even unraveled it, have I? You can just see there all the purity of those beautiful colours. Right, seven left now. There's seven left. That's it. It took us forever to get this in as well. It took forever to get in. So goodness knows. I what, what? Oh, now. If we sell out today, I'll be the only presenter that's had this. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Those colours are just exquisite. Right, we're, there's lots of people on the phone line, so we're going to come back and check on that one in a second. Right. Tula Pink. Must be this one. Goldfish. 
Yeah, these are obviously a bit more because they've got patterns in them. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got the interference, so it's always helpful if I put it there. No, of course not. 69.99. Here you go. Now, these are lovely. This was called Goldfish. This is Hannah's favourite. I'm going to open this one up. Oh, is there? I won't open it then. Let's have, let's have a look at the still. We'll just see the still. Let's have a look at the still first, and I'll decide whether I'm going to... Oh, no, there you go. So you've got your pom-poms. You've got your tent stripes. You've got your... Um, Ray, uh, what's that one called? The one I love. The one with swallows and starburst, stardust. You've got the toile flowers on background there. You've got your geodes, minerals, she calls it, minerals. You've got your um, hexes, 69.99 for 16 of those. You see, they're only four pounds. Is they four, they're four pounds a fat quarter, but even so, Still good value, but it shows you how good value the, the plain ones are, doesn't it? £69.99 for that gorgeous bundle. Hannah's favourite, goldfish it's called. Yeah, well, if you think she does her, her tent stripes and her pom-poms are uh, uh, her kind of core. Then there's the range that had the um, lovely swallows on. Then you've got the range with the geodes and the hexagon, because they were from Lineworks, weren't they, those? So it all works beautifully together, doesn't it? And all her colours, if you buy this and you've bought other Tudor pink ranges, um, these, you see that, she uses those colours all the time, doesn't she? I think it's agave and peacock, that one, isn't it? And Tilda, you know, Tilda's that. So if you've got some other Tudor pink, you know these are going to go with them. Lovely, says Elliot, lovely. Flamingo. This is Elliot's favourite. Beautiful again. So look, you've got your, your minerals on the top there. Then you've got your toile. Then you've got your hexes. Oh, you've got hexes in two different colours there. Then you've got your pom-poms. You've got your tent stripes. Then you've got your toile again in the blue and pink. Look at that. Beautiful pom-pom. Le pom-pom. Le pom-pom. Uh, le tent stripes. <laughs> I don't know the word for either of those in French, I'm afraid. Then you've got your, your minerals again there from Line Works range. Then you've got le pompon. X's. Le X's. Le tent stripes. Hang on, there must be, let's think of it. What tent? I don't know what the word for tent is in. Tont. And that's auntie, isn't it? Tont. It's not your stripey auntie. There we go, you've got your hexes, and then you, I love that fabric there, the one with the, the swallows on. They're back, the swallows are back, with all the lovely stars and everything like that. Beautiful. So that one is called Flamingo. There it is. Morning, John. Rather late this morning. Didn't sleep too well last night because of the rain and the wind, and didn't get to sleep till 5 a.m. Oh, Lynn. Lazy says, it says, use repurchase doilies for the hexes. Sorry to keep going on. I just want fabric to use. I wouldn't use any of those. Yeah. So I don't really know, because doilies were just made of like a cree. Oh, no, you see, my mom had ones that handed down from my nan, which the inside bit was like cream linen with embroidery on, and then it had lace around the outside. Okay, right, next. Peacock. Lovely colours again in there, aren't they? They're going to more to the grey here. But then look, then we go through Vibrance again. This is Elliot's favourite now, not the Flamingo. It's very fickle, Elliot. One day loves you, one day doesn't. 69 99 My family in the attic have got very hungry over the last two days because I've been in all day for two days. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll tell you very quickly. I got home from work a couple of weeks ago. My back door was wide open. I know I locked it before I went in. It hadn't been open during the day. Went in going, hello, hello, thinking the telly and the computer and everything had gone. No, everything's fine. So I came in, I was telling Elliot, and he went, yeah, there'll be a family moved into your attic. So, of course, ever since then, I've heard noises up in the attic. Uh, not been up there to have a look. 
but there's a nice new shop in um, Ulster, no, not Ulster, what's the next one, Studley, called En Vogue, and they do all these amazing light fittings. I keep thinking I might go to the attic, see what I can, anyway. Uh, but I've been home for two days, so if they do come out to get their food when I'm not there, they won't have had to, unless they've stashed food up there, because my fridge was very empty, I have to say. I had one courgette and some olives in there, that was all. I know, I nearly took a picture and put it on Facebook, then I realised how dirty my fridge was, oh, I can't do that. Oh, Margaret says, I watched Tula putting together a collection. It was fascinating. Oh, it is. It is. If you go to Tula's website and look at her films that she makes, it's brilliant. I love her house. Her house is, br oh, just amazing. Anyway, that one there is your peacock. Oh, look at the time. Right, then last but not least, Starling. At 69.99. They're lovely colours as well, aren't they? There's no still of this one for some reason, but you've got your yellows and your greens and your blues in there. Lovely. 69.99. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to let you check out, and in the 11 o'clock hour, if there's any, excuse me, if there's any of this left, or if there's any of the Tula planes left or anything like that, we'll play them again then. But I can't imagine because there's only three metres of that left when I looked last time. Actually, should we just double check now before we go? Can you do that? This one. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, gone. Okay. No, 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 it's fine, that's fine. So any of the other XY backings, if there's any left, when we come back to 11 o'clock, after Neil's been on, we'll then do, uh, we'll then recap those as well. All right, uh, Catherine's up next. She's making a tote bag, this tote bag. There you go. Uh, it does come in two colourways. It's a panel. It's exclusive to Sewing Street. And it has the instructions written on the panel. Anna, we'll see you and Catherine in three minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page keep up to date with what's on sewing street and yarn lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters for sewing street head on over to www.sewingstreet.com Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years.
In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learned lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Ellie has been counting me down from 26, so you can now imagine how annoying that is in here with his very, very thick accent. Anyway, 26. Anyway, look, look, how gorgeous is this, right? Look, beautiful. It, it's so funny, isn't it? Like in the last hour, Elliot said, I love you forever, John. To now, I said he was fickle, didn't I? Hate you, hate you, John. Anyway, this is the blue floor. Oh, where are you going? Which camera am I? Brand new today, exclusive to us. I'll show you the panel in a sec. I'll show you the panel in a second. <laughs> He's being naughty now. <laughs> Right, so this is the panel to make that one. It'll be fun, Ellie, because it's huge. Everything you need. So there's your front. Oh, don't no. Come, come on, upstairs. There's the front of your bag. There's the back of your bag. There's your lining of your bag. There's the straps of your bag a big handle and then you've got your bag facing this here that's completely spare you don't need that at all but then look there's your instructions what's that for up there then is that just extra as well yeah. that's all just extra as well there look ignore these here this is just a trademark they're not the colors that are all involved in this panel so that's your blue uh, 1999 that's brilliant isn't it so that's 1999. Well, you could all, oh, anyway, yeah. So, and we saved on paper. Oh, that's what I meant to say in that last hour. In Catherine's packages, please notice there's no plastic. I meant to say that in the last hour. Is that so? There's no, in those ones that we did today, there's no plastic whatsoever. Sorry, I meant to say that. Right, so that's the blue one. Then we've got the pink one. Call this one Brights. Oh, this is lovely. Look. So front and back of your bag. Uh, these are your um, bag linings. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the one. Remember when we did the menu this morning and I said, that's why I've suddenly realised it's how beautiful it is. Because there's no picture on the website, is there? Just the blue one saying bright colour version. That is beautiful. It's like a watercolour. Oh, and there's that plant that was on Catherine's cushion. <laughs> anyway, look, there's your straps, there's your facing. And again, you get an extra bit of fabric on this one for nothing. And there's your instructions. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Now I'd be tempted, no I wouldn't. Well, no, 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 I'd be tempted to use that as the front of my bag and that as the back of my bag. And then, 
make another bag out of that nap and then find something in my stash to line it with. But then you'd only have enough facing and straps for one then. Oh, you could do, oh, I know. You could do straps on either side. So you'd use your stash on one side and you strap. Anyway, here's me waffling on. Uh, you could put use the instructions if you want, Elliot, as you're lining. I don't think that's big enough for your lining, though. Anyway, shall we go and see how it's made? They're lovely. Uh, please, 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 they're flying out the door. Please, please, please be careful if you put them in your basket. I'd multi-buy personally, but there you go. The bright one. The bright one's gone completely and utterly crazy. Right. Oh, you're doing the bright one as well. I'm doing you? the bright one. Fantastic. When I was cutting it out ready, my daughter, she's, oh, I love that, mummy. It's just gorgeous, isn't Aww. it? Really pretty. Really pretty. So I have cut my pieces out ready. Uh huh. You could do what you said, John, except your linings are slightly smaller than your front bits because they've got the facing. Oh, yes. Just to be aware of that. Oh, so yes. you'd have to attach a little bit. But you have yeah. got your extra fabric, so yeah. you could do oh, that. Oh, you have. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it's a really nice, simple make. Um, nice and quick. Brilliant if you're a beginner, actually. Uh huh. Because it's not tricky and you'll get a fantastic result. So we're going to start by putting the two outside pieces together, right sides together. I'm going to pin that round. We're going to stitch it round the sides and the bottom. Now remember to keep the top open when I, when I teach beginners. I have been teaching beginners this week. No one did it this week. But there's, <laughs> there's always someone who gets really excited and sews all the way around. Oh. <laughs> so remember to keep the top open. They're going to be very excitable now since <laughs> it's their first class back after a long break. They were brilliant. We did, um, we did drawstring bags. We did different seams and how to neaten them. And then we did little drawstring bags. Oh. And everyone was really good. And where's this? This is at my craft centre, Leicestershire Craft Centre, it's called, in Market Harbour. Oh. Yeah. Don't get stuck waiting for a train in Market Harbour. That's the worst train station in the world in the winter. Unless they've built a waiting room. Uh, do you know what? They've done loads of refurbishment. Oh, it is much better. I'll take it that is back. Much that better. was in my opinion, right? Because <laughs> I did a wedding in Market Harbour. We had, I did the style of the whole wedding. And then uh, it was lovely. It was such a lovely day. And then I went to catch the train back to London. Got to the station. No coat, no nothing. Middle of winter. Yeah. And all there was was like this little glass box just on the platform. Yeah. No, and there's sat, a waiting room now. Oh, OK. I sat there for about <laughs> three hours freezing. <laughs> OK, I'm going to just use um, the edge of my sheet, uh, the edge of my machine foot for my seam allowance. This was the sample panel and it didn't have a seam allowance on, so the, the one you get might have, because I did mention it to you. Oh, okay, okay, I don't let know. me have a look. Um, but I'd recommend a centimetre, really, for a bag making. Okay, seam allowance, spelt incorrectly. One centimetre, one centimetre. Um, this one, the bright one that we're working with, over half the stock has gone already. So we're just going around those three sides. If you're teaching a youngster to sew, this is a good project. So when you get to a corner, if you're a beginner, remember, always leave your needle down. Yeah. Turn round. I also think it, <coughs> even if you're not a beginner, sometimes we want a project and just feel like sewing, don't we? So Absolutely. You and you'd have it made in an hour or so, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. And that's nice when something comes together really quickly. And it's quite nice because it's all pre-printed on. You haven't got to measure anything. Just chop it out, which is good. Exactly. So if you are a beginner and um, people get down to these corners and they're like, oh, how do you know where to stop? Yeah. And obviously, when you've been sewing a lot, so you didn't just do it by eye, can't you? But if you're a beginner, mark it on. Use your tailor's chalk or your pen and mark it up your centimetre and make yourself a little guide. Yeah. And that'll help you keep nice and accurate. I've had real, real beginners who've never touched a sewing machine before who just even struggle to sew in a straight line. And, you know, if, if that's you or you're teaching your children, draw it on mm. with a ruler first. It doesn't matter <laughs> if that's going to help. I also think machines these days, when I first started, if you didn't hold on to the fabric, 
there's nowhere a machine on its own will sew a straight line. Whereas I think the machines these days are kind of made, aren't they? So they help you sew in that straight line. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, and really all you've got to concentrate on doing is steering, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and don't watch the, what the needle's doing. Watch the edge of your fabric, where you've lined that up with, yeah. and that will help you keep nice and straight. So um, that's all the way around. Uh, we're going to clip the corners with my scissors gone. Oh. Find a pair of scissors. They're left-handed scissors. Though. I'm not managed with those then, will I? Oh, there's my scissors. There we person. go. Oh, you got one. So you want to clip the corners so that you haven't got a lot of bulky fabric when you put your lining with it. And it says on the instructions to press the seams open again so that they'll lie nice and flat. Uh huh. So we will do that. It's easier on an ironing board than it is on a flat board like ours. Oh. Yes, I've got to do it. I'm going to do it like this, actually, because oh, okay. sometimes it's hard to get it round. But if you are doing it on a flat board, you can do it like this and it's still open. Oh, yeah. So we will press those. Yes, yeah, so you're on step two now of the instructions. I'm on step two, yes. Then we're going to put our linings together with the facing. Okay. Place the bag lining front, right sides together with the bag front facing front, matching the bottom log edge of the facing with the top raw edge of the lining. So you just want to make sure when you're doing this, because your flowers have got a direction on them, that when you sew them and open it out, it's going to be right. So if you put it like you know it want, you want it to be mm -hmm. um, when it's finished, and then you can just flip them down together because oh. you'll annoy yourself if you get the flowers on upside down yeah Elliot says you can unpick if you do it wrong of course you can nothing wrong with unpicking any any so sew, sewer is very good friends with their unpicker really yeah. aren't they doesn't matter how, how much you've done you still use no, your unpicker exactly. lots exactly and that's I mean that's the beauty of sewing really it's you know the cutting out's the bit you've got to worry about the um, it's the sewing that you you can redo if it's not right, can't you? So that's again, I to quick and pick Elliot saying, uh, uh, "What day was in here last on the show?" But yes, it's something we everyone, no matter how experienced you are, you always have your quick and pick next year. I think the one thing that my, my la <laughs> the ladies that have come back quite like is that when they come to classes, I unpick for them. Because I was, I'm so nice. Because That's I think so nice. It, I am so nice. Because I think people, if you come and say, and you go, oh, I've done it wrong, but don't pick. You get a bit disheartened, yeah, don't you? Yeah. So I do it for them so they don't get disheartened. <laughs> so th some of them have missed me because I've not been there to unpick. Don't pick for them. <laughs> Message on our bottom. Morning. If you bought both kits, you could make a reversible bag. Love the show, especially when you're on, John. Thank you, Susan, my lovely. Thank you. Now. Uh, did you so? Did you press that seam open? I did, and I've just realised it actually tells you to do it towards the lining. Yes, I nearly read it out, and I won't say. Anything. No, I was asked. just I was on automatic it pilot. It says to do it towards Does it the lining. Matter, though? Doesn't really. No, no. They get you to stop top stitch. Press seam open towards the lining, and top stitch it. So oh, yeah, we can do a nice five. little bit of top stitching along three, yeah. to hold it together. Okay. Now I ought to stick to the instructions. It's that little bit, isn't it, John? You, when you make things, you can't, and you kind of know what you're doing. It's easy just to carry on blithely in your yes, way. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it really, doesn't matter. It doesn't make it. It's not like it's one of those. At some projects, it's not, you have to not press a deal the breaker. Certain, yeah. So I'm just top stitching along, which holds that seam down. Um, I'm using the little groove on the machine foot so that you can keep nice and straight along. Okay. So there's that one. We're going to quickly do the same with the other one. Got plenty of time. How are we doing stockwise, Han? More than half of the bright ones have gone. Well, we can't look at blue yet. We'll look in a second.
Third of the blue ones, more than half the stock of the bright pink ones gone. I'll do it right this time, I'll press it down. Do what? I'll do it right this time, yeah, press, press it down, down first, time, yes. <laughs> I would make a little purse with the leftover fabric. Oh, would you? I would. A little purse to go with my bag. And I actually thought it'd be quite cute. You could uh, make, put the instructions in, in in the lining. As the lining, you could actually use the oh, whole thing. Oh, that's what I said. We all just went, pfft, well, the thing is, once you've made the bag, you don't actually need the instructions anymore, do no. you? No. No, I'm, I apologise. You were right, Elliot. For a change. Well, then you're using every scrap. There's yeah, no wastage, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I'll top stitch along this edge. What I would do, and I know I'm not supposed to say this to you, is before you start, I would measure all the squares on the panels and make my own pattern, or just write down, you don't need to make a pattern. So you can make it together, and then I keep the instructions with the, from the panel with the, with the measurements. Well, somewhere. that is a good idea, too. Oh, question, question. Across the bottom. Oh, it's over there now. I don't need to go over there. Hi, John and Creole. I've ordered mine. But is there enough of the spare bit to put in a side gusset and an inside pocket? Love you all from Berta in Bedfordshire. It is. Let me look. So it is the same length. So if you, you cut that in half, you could put it in the sides. Would you have enough to use that little bit? No, not for the bottom. So you could make it a, a buck... A bucket? No, not a bucket. A gusset going down the side. Oh no! You, yeah, I think you'd have enough for pockets, definitely. Yeah, put oh, yeah, a little inside for pockets. pockets, but not enough for a gusset. Unless, of course, you use. You could use the white edges. The white, yeah, the white bit, or you don't want to use instructions. Yes. Unless, hang on, hang on, hang on. You carry on sewing. No, I was just trying to think because you, you're going to need all. You're that going to need all of that for your for your straps. Strap, yeah, so I'm going to put my linings together now, this, exactly the same way as the front and the back. So right okay. sides together. You do want to try and make sure your facing nice line is lined up. It will look good, won't it? Now the only way I think you could use some of the fabric is Hannah doesn't like a, a bag handle this long on her tote bag. She only likes a handle that long on her yes. tote bags. So you could. Maybe use that bit there for a gusset. Yes. If you know yes. what you're doing, Bertha. You could, and then you could use the smaller bit for your handles. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's definite flexibility, yes, isn't definitely. there? Jennifer's got a question as well. I forgot it was on this screen now. Could you make a pocket with the spare fabric? Yes, Jennifer. You could indeed. Definitely. Yeah. Either, oh, I put it on the inside though, I wouldn't put it on the outside because that's where Damien went wrong this week on Great Big Stone Bee, wasn't he? He put those great big pockets on his denim dresser. He left them off. Been a really lovely frock. There were some good good um, upcycles this yes. week, I thought. Oh, Leslie, that's an idea. You could do a bag for the bag. Yes, so you could make yes. That. yes that'd be lovely. One of those, yes. Or Christine says a tiny phone pocket and a little purse would be so perfect. And a key holder with a lobster clasp attached inside. Ooh, Goodness get you. me. Blurter saying it's beautiful. Ah. I think it's always handy to have these sorts of bags, isn't it? Yeah. The places I go and I don't have a bag handy. Well, I, I've got, I usually use my Waitrose bags for life and everything, but um, Davinia made me a couple of Liberty tote bags like this which, with a webbing handle and they're in oh, my boot all the time. you, so I posh. Know. I know. Well, I go to Waitrose, darling. <laughs> it's very posh. <laughs> This is because, John, you haven't got a family of five to feed. You can afford to go to Waitrose. No, and it's because I've got a family to feed. I don't have, oh no, that's what I was going to say. I don't have to have as many bags, but I do. I still have to buy lots of bags. <laughs> I've got the family in the loft. <laughs> I have to feed them. It's a lovely panel for a cushion cover too, says Jean. Yeah, of course you don't have to make a bag out of it. You can make a gorgeous cushion out of that. Does it say who designed the, the painting? Does no, I don't think so. It might be Amy, might it? Because we've got Amy, the graphic designer, working for us at the moment. Oh, hang on. Got some, I, it usually says um, Sewing Street exclusive, doesn't it? And... Wait, 
Well, it's very pretty. It is, isn't it? Oh, Jeanette's got a good idea. Ordered both thinking Christmas presents. Jeanette, yeah. You're on it's it. never too early. You're on it. What I love is the printing of the lining. Oh, and, and the main one. Looks like it's a linen effect, doesn't it? It's not a flat, They're not just flat colours. And it does feel a really nice, sturdy cotton for yes. a bag. It's yeah. not flimsy at all. No. What's that, Han? No, you don't need interfacing or anything. All you need is the panel and your sewing machine. So I've clipped the corners on this one again. <laughs> Sue says, the people in the, in the loft have moved out, John. They said your diet was too limited for them. <laughs> well, yeah, they got bored with my fridge, I tell you. <laughs> with your one courgette and olives. Yeah. That's not much of a ratatouille, that isn't. No. I used to have an allotment and uh, courgettes were about the only thing that we got a glut of, you know. Oh, was it? Yeah, they're really easy to grow and we used to have hundreds of them, but no one really liked them. And the only way my children, oh. my only children, the way they'd eat them was if I put them in muffins, which are courgette muffins. Oh, I've never yeah. had a courgette muffin. Oh, my bobbins run out. Oh, no. Have we got any spare ones around? There was a red, uh oh. Mm. <laughs> Hang on, Hannah, I'll get you one. A full fill one in cream, please, Hannah. <laughs> She's shaking her head at me now. I can, I can whiz it up. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to show, but she's on her hands and knees in front of the table trying I to didn't find even, a spare it bobbin. Looked quite full, We're you a know. sewing channel, right? And we can't <laughs> find a bobbin. Where's she going? <laughs> um, I'll show you the panel. Which ones? Which are oh, they both in? Here's the blue one that's in the little graphics there. You, you could have told me to look under there, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's now under the table. Look, here we go. Have a look at this, Elliot, for me. <laughs> Shh. Blue one. This is the blue one here. This is the one that's in the little box of graphics. There's your front. You don't even need to crawl. It's on the panel now. You can get up now. There's the front. There's the lining. There's your straps. There's your instructions. There, this is spare. This piece of fabric here is completely spare. Also, look at all this along here. You could almost bag your sleeve, not your sleeves, <laughs> your um, handles out using that, and then you've got extra fabric. Half the stock of blue is now gone. There we go. You all right? Yes, I think yeah. so. We'll just see if we can finish that seam. Am I sewing right? Have you not got a drawer with bobbins in, Hannah? Hannah's got her, all her, she's filed everything over there. I think they're in the back room. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw them some out there. Where it's, where you don't need them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We're, there we go. We're, we're back. We're back on track. Oh, Morag's friend makes beautiful courgette loaf. Mm. Ooh. But do you have to be careful with courgettes if you're baking? Because they're very wet, aren't they, as a vegetable? Yeah, well, it works a bit like, you know, if you like make carrot cake, the carrot yeah. gives the moistness. So oh, okay. a courgette cake or muffin was sort of, Ooh, it's sort they of similar. They were nice, mm. yeah. As I say, we had a lot of them because they wouldn't eat them in other things. No. no. Well, they're not, if you don't, if you don't know, what well, I'm not, I'm no expert, but they are, they are a, can be dull if you just boil them, can't they? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got, we've, a new, we've got a new boy working here. Hello, sir. Hello. Just move round, Catherine, so when he comes in, he can say hello. I'll go around the back. Oh, you're going around that. Um, hello, Mr. Scott. How are you? Do you know what? Do you know, can you see who it is? Hang on, where is he? Which camera is he on? Don't stop moving. Look, look. How right. are you? This is my big boss. We've never met. We've never met. We've, ne we've spoken on the phone, but we've oh, never nervous. ever met. How are you? You're nervous. Why are you nervous? Oh, <laughs> I nearly swore then. What are you doing? Are you coming in to get in our empty boxes? Yeah, just stealing an empty box. Yeah. Oh, a man of your means. I'm to come here to steal a cup. I'm very good, thank you. You must have a coffee sometime. Well, you promised me lunch, actually. Really? You actually invited well, me. No, no, a hang on. Glass of wine, I did promise. No, you promised me dinner at your new house. That's what you promised me. Oh, I moved four, out four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. All right, then. You must have that soon. Yes, lovely. Take All care. right, you take care. <laughs> lovely. Right, okay. Right, um, what, what's, what, where were we? Okay. Throw me completely. I've, uh, so I've put the front together, I've put the lining together, so we're going to prep the straps right, now. Okay. Uh, 
And these are lovely wide pieces, so they're not fiddly at all to do, which is brilliant. So if you press it in half first, and as Hannah said, you don't have to do it as long as this. You can do them to your no, she does because she, what Hannah they does, are quite long. she buys lots of potatoes. You see, <laughs> and if like if she's walking along the high street, can I? I'll just do this. Is Hannah in the high street, right? <laughs> so she's filled it with potatoes, and then she'd be chat. She drag it like that. <laughs> That's, I've seen her, I've, when I used to have to drive through a village on days when we weren't working together, and I'd see her walk along with a coat like this, she'd go... <coughs> <laughs> and she, she was always, in outside Boots, the security man at Boots was always talking to her, I don't know why. No. Anyway, sorry. I quite like a tote bag, but I like it like over my shoulder. Yes, I like this. Yes. I like that. But you can do it to your breath. No, she can't do that, because she's always got her hands full of other stuff. She's got a phone and a purse. And what else has she got there in her hand? She had something else in her hand, a muff and things like that. <laughs> when it's winter. So I've pressed it in half and then I've opened it out. Right. And then we're going to press the edges into that initial fold. Right, you have. And then they'll get folded in half again. So you've still got a really nice wide strap, but because you folded it all in, it's really strong as well. Can I ask a quick question? If you were going to make a pocket, Yes. You'd put it on your lining before you sew the linings together, wouldn't you? I would, yeah. yes. Because once you've got it together like this, it's all going to start to get quite fiddly yeah, if you then yeah. try to put it. So, yes, put any pockets on when it's flat yeah. before you've joined it together. And I would put it on the inside if you want a little foam pocket. Oh, I just think it would spoil It would the spoil the lovely the picture outside, otherwise, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just going to press in half. And if you press it all, it just kind of holds itself in place and you don't need a huge quantity of pins. You can just put the odd pin in just to hold it together. Then we are going to top stitch down either side of our strap. Okay. And you don't need any interfacing or anything inside here then either? No, you don't. I mean, because you've effectively, you've got four layers of fabric by the time you've pressed and folded it all. So yeah. it's actually really nice and strong. <laughs> John, I nearly spat out my coffee with your, uh, with your impersonation of Hannah. I've studied <laughs> it for many years. Also, <laughs> no, I didn't do the feet. You couldn't see the feet. Also, in winter, she wears a coat. And it's a lovely coat, right? But she, she belts it up here for some reason. <laughs> it's tied underneath her boobies like that. So she, the coat goes like that. Does she have like a big woolly hat, like a tea cosy? No, I don't think I've ever seen her in a hat. She's got enough hair to keep her warm, hasn't she? If you think about the curly girl hair. You see, if you go to McBabe 8, which is Hannah's uh, Instagram, all the pictures on there are so glamorous. <laughs> she doesn't bother. Well, no, sometimes she's at the weekend. I was expecting her to be a little bit, but she's not doing it this weekend. She's having a slobby weekend this weekend. She's at work all weekend. And although you don't need to top stitch down both sides, it looks nicer if you Oh, don't. no, I agree. I agree. Also, if you don't top stitch down both sides, sometimes it can rock. When you're carrying your shopping, sometimes it can roll, can't it? You know That's I mean? true. Oh, all I can think about now is courgette muffins. <laughs> What's the matter, Elliot? What's wrong with that? Elliot's been in a, in a funny mood all day today. He's huffing and puffing like you. you you've done nothing, but I, I thought it was little Paul in the gallery this morning. He <gasps> <gasps> <sighs> 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 just keeps doing that. <sighs> <sighs> and that's just your breathing, is it? I'll call a doctor. Oh, talking about food, it's also a very exciting day because my son gets to do food tech in school for the first time for a really, really long time. Oh. Chicken stir fry tonight. Oh, oh, so you never have to cook on a, what day are we, a Friday? You never mm. have to cook on a Friday. No, now. it's excellent. Oh, that's good because <laughs> in my road, Molly has been doing, she started a textile and sewing course last year at school and they've not been allowed to 
use any of the machines in school or do any yeah. of that practical. It's all been uh, theory up until now. So she's got a sewing machine at home and um, I get the patterns on Simply Sewing, you know, the, the magazine, we get the magazine with them, so I pop those around to, to practice with and things. But, um, oh, she'll start, I mean, she'll be able to start so things. So things oh, are, yeah, definitely. Brilliant. Well, they've all stopped wearing masks at school now, which is really nice. They what? They don't have to wear masks anymore. At, at all? At school, no. Well, I think they can if they want to. No, 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 but they but don't have to. No. They, the, on May the 17th, when things relaxed, yeah. they said that the children didn't have to wear them at school. Because they were wearing them all, all day. day. Do all they have to day. wear them if they walk between... No, they, well, not at my children's school. Oh, they okay. don't anymore. Which is really nice. It's made a big difference to them. Yeah, no, no, I know some people aren't working between lessons, but then in the break, when they have to leave their classroom and go to the quadrangle, because they all have, I'm, that's like me suddenly back at school going to the quadrangle. But you know what I mean? It's like kind of, they're going to pass each other. Oh no, they do it on different times though, don't they? Well, I think also, because um, especially in secondary schools, everyone, people are testing. They're testing twice a week, children oh, of are. Course, yeah. So, and I think rates are really low. Yeah. Oh, is it Elio? So there we go. Two nice straps. Oh, Christine said, was that your boss, John Scott? I had to mute for a phone call. Yes, that's Steve. Uh, who's it? Christine, that's Steve, who owns all our, you know, kind of Gemporia, uh, in charge of it, Gemporia, Jewelry Maker, Primal, us, everything. Uh, and just says, I'm sorry, but stop taking them. Mickey out of Hannah. Oh, sorry, Angela. Listen, it, we, we, I, first of all, if, I'm sorry if it upsets you, but it's a kind of thing that we do. I'll, I'll stop it then. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sorry if you're offended, Angela. Yeah. Hannah says she's not offended, but I'll stop it if it's upsetting you, Angela. That's fine. My children's secondary school are still in masks due to an outbreak of Indian variant in the local primary school, says oh. Claire. That's um, in... Um, I know where the Silverstone, Silverstone that's in. Message on our bottom. Uh, good morning, I'm having so much fun watching you today. I've clicked the buttons and bought the bag panel. <laughs> Thank you. Not, uh, <laughs> Judith. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a nice time, Judith. That's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Okay, so I've turned the outside of the bag the right way round and we're going to pop the handles in place. Right. So we're lining up. There's a measurement here. Where's my tape measure? Nine centimetres in from the side seams. Yeah. So that's here. And you want to extend it a bit. Two and a half centimetres, it says. Oh, that was a good guess. And we'll pin that in place. Well, what? Elliot's giving you sewing lessons now. Am I doing it wrong, Elliot? What's, what's wrong, Elliot? He's in such a strange room. He wasn't talking <laughs> about the sewing. But he, he suddenly goes off on a tangent earlier. He suddenly went, I saw Eric the other day, like in the middle of no reason. He says something like, I saw Eric the other day. OK, and remember that the same hand, the hand one, one strap goes on the same side. Right. I have had the odd person make a bag and do them the wrong way. Oh, I've done that. And one before. on each side, yeah. yeah. So remember that one handle goes on one, one side, side of your bag, and yeah. just be careful that you don't you don't twist it yeah. round. Okay. So we don't know. We can machine tack that in place. Okay. Just to hold it all together. In fact, what I'll do is I will pin the other one to match while it's lying flat, because then I don't have to measure on this side. I know it's matching up. Because again, you want those to be equal, else it will be very irritating. Are you, um, I might have missed this bit while Elliot was whittering on, why are you not lining just the top of the strap with the top of the fabric? You've got it a little there, bit uh, We've further. got it a little bit higher because when we put it all together, we're going to stitch round, can you see I've stitched two lines round the top of the bag? Oh, okay, yeah. And it will hold the bottom up, bit of the strap in and so it makes it extra strength. strong. Right, brilliant. Yes. Okay, so we'll tack those in place. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to be getting my own picker out in a minute, John. Oh, why? <laughs> I've done what I've always do. I've forgotten to leave a little gap in my lining. Oh, no. Now, <laughs> you, you, I'm going to blame, I'm I'm going to blame you. you because you've made me laugh too much this morning. <gasps> oh, so it's my fault? <laughs> yeah. Or we'll have complaints. <laughs> Um, so machine tacking, you can make your stitch a bit longer on your machine. So I'm going to pop it up to five. Yep. And that will just hold it all in place. I'll, I'll blame Hannah as well for crawling around yes. <laughs> under, my, <laughs> under my feet. <laughs> uh, don't. Uh, go on, John, Catherine and T. Back to have my second jab. I'll have to watch later all that I've missed. Bag panels are gorgeous, says Sue. Adele says, oh, John, I love your banter. Our house is like that all the time. It's called affection. We laugh at each other and tease all the time. It's funny and makes us feel great. Don't change your relationship with Hannah. Oh, I have no relationship with her. <laughs> oh, Adele, we're not in a relationship. No, we're not. Hannah, we've done one date and we're not going on another. You know? <laughs> she says, are you my sugar daddy? I think she's got more money than I have. I'm not your boyfriend, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> June says, oh no, please don't stop. I love the banter between you and Hannah. I bet she gives this as well as, she oh, tell me, tell me. And you don't hear Hannah's side of it, do you, see? One day, without telling her, I'm going to get Elliot. <laughs> no, I'm not your boyfriend. I'm going to get Elliot <laughs> to wire this up so you can hear what she's saying to <laughs> When, when uh, we... <laughs> <laughs> there was one day, was, it can't have been here, it was when we were so in quarter. And um, somebody, people were messaging in going, I can hear Hannah, I can hear Hannah. And she didn't, <laughs> instead of just being quiet and going, oh, John, there's an issue, she started swearing. <laughs> so everybody at home could hear Hannah going, oh, bleep, bleep, oh, bleep, it's not working, bleep, it's, they can hear me, bleep. And we're like, Hannah, everybody can hear <laughs> So she's always very careful now. So, because I forgot to leave a gap, yeah. you're supposed to leave a 10 centimetre turning gap in the bottom of the line. In the bottom? In the bottom. Okay. So, I have just unpicked that. Okay. Ready. Which it looked easy because she's done so much unpicking. <laughs> I am, I'm an expert at unpicking. Yeah. I see. Because I do this all the time. Always <laughs> but also, you, I was saying it not because you make mistakes, but because you oh, unpick because all I'm, the ladies. Oh, uh, that's the true, because I'm so nice. Okay, so we're going to put it all together. So, so that we can bag it out, right side of the bag into the lining so you've got right sides together. Okay. Jackie says, I remember that day, John, it was very funny. Yeah, she nearly got the sack. It wasn't Jackie, it wasn't funny for her, Jackie. John and the guests and the crew are one big family and have a lot of fun and laughs. It's the sunshine of my day, says Anne. Oh, thank you, Anne. So that's what we kind of wanted right from the start, is it's not, yes, it's uh, one to learn. We, we're here to learn, and we're here to learn how to make it and everything. But also, we didn't want just hard sell, ramming it down your throat. We wanted it to be like you were in a, one of your sewing classes, or yeah. we were in your kitchen, or my kitchen, or something like that, just sewing. That's, that was the whole ethos behind the place, rather than just being professional, I was going to say, but you know what I mean? <laughs> so I've pinned, I've matched the side seams up mm -hmm. and pinned those. And then we will pin all the rest. So you've still got those little bit of straps just poking out there, but that is correct. Adele said that'd be a great show. I'd love to hear it too. Air it after nine o'clock at night for adult viewing. Yes, exactly. Princess says, you're not the only one I'm picking. I spent hours <laughs> hand sewing Clementine the cat from Luna Lapin. Only to be sat here now, I'm picking the whole thing as I wasn't happy with it. <gasps> oh, princess. We all, F what we all do it. It's just part of the, of the, the whole thing, isn't it? It really? is, absolutely. The creative progress, process. Okay, so when you've got it all pinned together, we're going to stitch all the way around this top edge. I'm going to slide this bit off if I can to get it round. Mm -hmm. And it recommends that you actually reverse across the straps so that they're extra reinforced. I can't get the reverse button to work today, John. I don't know what it's doing, so I'm not going to reverse oh, okay. as I sew, but it does say that you Oh, we'll should. get Elliot to look at it. He's an expert on sewing machines. Obviously, something's obviously got set on it, but I can't see what to put it oh, right. Oh, okay. I'll have a look at it later. 
I couldn't wait to join this amazing and friendly, fr friendly family. You're also welcoming, says Dawn. And Claire says, John, you and Hannah should do a podcast. You can say what you like then. Yeah, it means we'd have to sit in the same room for any more hours. <laughs> well, we you could still sit. do it separately and have your thing, <laughs> couldn't you? Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, my guests arrived. Oh, you've not linked a jelly out to my dressing room, have you? I bought that. Where did they come from? Oh, did you? Are they the 10 calorie ones? Oh, brilliant. I brought some in from home as well. You don't have to keep them in the fridge, though. Oh, do they? All right, then. Well, go and have your breakfast, then. That's my 11 o'clock guest. He's having a jelly from the fridge. No, I've, I've brought some in as well today. <laughs> so I've gone all the way around the top. So now you can see why I have to have this hole, hole in, the, in bottom. the bottom. Exactly. So now we can pull it all back through. Oh, here you go. Christine says, at the secondary school kids at my lollipop, she's a lollipop lady, she's a lollipop lady, still have to wear masks for bus journeys, yes. but they don't during the day. Yes, that's uh, true. My day wouldn't be complete without watching Sewing Street. Especially you, John, when it's on one big happy family. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad, Christine, that we make you feel like that. It's nice to see a lollipop lady. You yes. don't see that many of them these well, no, days. No, there I, is I'm one in my village, actually. Oh, is there? Yeah. It's funny, when I, get, when I work at Pavers, I have to go through a village there, and there's a lollipop, and she's obviously really popular because everybody stops to chat to her. And you're like, come on, come on, I've got to get to work now. And she's like in the middle of the road chatting to all the kids <laughs> and the mums and everything. We haven't got one in our village. Um, because we haven't got a school. <laughs> That'll be why then. That'll be why. Okay, so I'm going to just then carefully sew that little hole back up. But it is a thing. Of, is it a thing of the past? Do you think lollipop ladies, or is it just that they're not? I don't think you have quite as many these days. Yeah, that's sad, isn't it? Okay, now we can push the lining back down inside. And it's so pretty because that little bit of facing just matches your straps. Yeah, nice, isn't it? It is. I can get it in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you first had duvets and no one knew how to get the covers on. Okay, Leslie says, Hannah always says, I don't know how John puts up with me when she's been on screen. Have you, Hannah? Ah, oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, I'm not your boyfriend. She does call me, she does call me dad occasionally, which when we're talking about something, she goes, well, dad, it's like this. Oh, there's no lollipop person in Silverstone. Oh. So I'm just going to... Press it first so yeah. that that seam is really right on the top. And then we're going to do two rows of stitching round just to finish it off. And look, I've made it in the whole time. It I just know. shows what and a lovely, got time left over lovely well. quick make it, it is. I mean, obviously I had cut it out. In but yeah, but then the cutting out is literally just cutting but the, it the is shapes just out cutting, on the panel, Absolutely, isn't it? yeah, no complicated cutting out. So... Yeah, one of those really, and it's nice to have quick projects on the go as well as long projects, I think. Uh, Laurie says, we've got lots of lollipop ladies and lollipop men in Lowestoft. Well, they'd have to be there, wouldn't they? Lollipop men from Lowestoft or lollipop ladies from Lowestoft. They have to be there. Oh. Is it because there's lots of schools in Lowestoft or are they just, is Lowestoft one of those towns that you, like, you feel like you're going back in time to? Lowestoft's in Suffolk. Okay. There's a beach in Lowestoft, isn't there? There's a beach in Lowestoft. Yeah, because, um, you know, Stuart who tunes in, he goes running on the beach there. I'm the same, says Christine. Oh, hang on. What same as what? Hang on. Been doing it for 12 years. I wish I knew what we're talking about now, Christine. I've been doing it for 12 years. Uh... A lollipop. I worked lunchtime job for 21 years. I love it. And I know so many people. I seem to spend all my time waving at everybody. Oh, Christine, that's you they're talking about. They go, have you seen the mad woman that's waving at everybody <laughs> outside the school? 
So I'm going to su suggest that when you top stitch around the top, you start on the side because yeah. if you don't absolutely match up when you get round to the other side, it's not noticeable because it's on the side where nobody oh, Okay, perfect. Whereas if you start bang in the middle, it will annoy you if you don't absolutely get it spot on. Oh dear, Princess, they said they've got a lollipop lady in Aylesbury. One was in the paper recently for getting verbally abused by impatient drivers. That's not very nice, is it? Uh, when I asked my son what he wanted to be when he grew up, he said he wanted to be a lollipop man as you didn't have to start work till you were 65. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Lauren says, yeah, lots of schools, large population and lovely beaches in Lower Stoft. What's that? Who is it? Who what? Oh, what's that? I couldn't see. What's she doing in? It's Friday. What are you doing in? Why don't you leave those boxes alone? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I've got, I've got a guest in the next hour, but he's got an, a, an assistant as well. You're going to change before you come on air, though, aren't you? Oh, she, oh, she's not being like a glamorous magician's assistant. Okay, so there's my first row and my second one. So I want to make sure that I catch those um, bottoms of my straps. Yeah. In. So I'm going to just line it up. It's going to be two centimetres down, so okay. that's going to catch that in. Message on our bottom. Traffic lights replaced our lollipop lady. You can't talk to a traffic light, can you? Well, <laughs> and without being offensive, I have seen Hannah chatting to a traffic light in her village. She watched, she had been to the pub. <laughs> okay, Elliot's friend talks to lampposts. And <laughs> Hannah was seen this weekend, not this weekend, on our two days off talking to her bins. Yeah, quite a lot. Uh, bins outside our house. <laughs> <laughs> I thought but I everyone was Everyone here is totally normal. Yeah, 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 of course it is, of course it is. Georgina says, I was a lollipop lady for over 10 years, but was made redundant by a pedestrian crossing. Oh, no, Georgina. Oh, that's really sad. Mind you, I wouldn't want to do it on a winter's morning. No. Oh, Hannah would just, just choose which day she did. Oh, it's, yeah. Right. Are you done? It's made. I'm going to give it a final press, because then it can go on oh, display, it's because it's really though, isn't it? gorgeous, isn't it? Really gorgeous. Re that, that print yeah. is just stunning, that one on the front. And I love the fact they've done a different one on the back as well. You could personalise that if you were doing it for somebody. Yeah, you, you yeah, could. You've got a nice little gap to put something oh. in or a little label, your hand, handmade label. Yeah, love Hannah from Boyfriend John. That's what Hannah's just said. Yeah, but the handles are too long for you, Hannah. So obviously if you want a shorter handle, instead of putting it two and a half centimetres down, put it yeah. down to the length you want and cut up, cut off what you don't want. 19.99, beautiful. That's the bright one that you're seeing in there. We've had a very floral, naturey, flowery kind of a day, haven't we? Yeah. Flowers and friendship, that's what today's all been about, and love. And Hannah's got a new boyfriend, me. She hasn't, just so you know at home, she hasn't. <laughs> no. There we go. So hopefully everyone can see that beautifully. Yeah. Look, Gorgeous. and it even matches my jumper. Yeah, perfect. Right, let me do a recap then. Thank you. Now you're back in an hour's time. I am. On Yarn Lane. Yes. So you set off now for the Yarn Lane studios. <laughs> and I'll see you there. Get it all, all right. ready for us and I'll see you there. It was what? Oh, it was hail hailstones earlier, so get, take your brolly. Right, okay, so I've only got two panels to show you. The bright colourway that we've just shown you is this one. Oh, fewer than 20 of these left now. Fewer than 20 of these left. So let me just take you through it very quickly. So you get the front, 
the back, I'll put that into shot, there you go, the front and the back. The thing is, you don't have to use it as a bag if you don't want to. People have been saying, because you'd make two lovely cushions out of that. Oh, do you know what? You can make two lovely cushions and then you can use the handles as like a binding or a, or a, a panel around the edge maybe or something like that. It's up to you. It's your, It's completely nothing. Oh, do you know what? If you had that ruler that made half square triangles, you could make some lovely half square triangles out of that, couldn't you? Anyway, so you get the front and the back, the lining, the lining, the strap, the strap, the strap, no, the strap, the strap, and the facing, the facing. This piece of fabric here is completely and utterly um, spare, just for you to do with whatever you want. Pockets, little purse you said you'd make, didn't you? Um, uh, or, or a bag to put your bag in. And then there's your instructions, save those. I would measure all of these and just take a note of them. And then if you've got fabric at home that you just want to make the same tote bag out of, because you don't need anything else but this fabric, you can do that, can't you? Oh, right, now. Please remember to check out because there's suddenly a flurry of people putting that in their baskets. How, are we all right though? All right for stock at the moment, Han? Okay, there's more than 50 in baskets, right? There's more than 50 in baskets and I've got how many left? 15. Oh, okay, right, okay. I've got, right, okay. So there are 50 in baskets. So please, please be, be careful because those 50 people, there are only 40 available. So you need to be careful. That's of the bright one. So 10 of you, if everyone who's got in their basket decides to check out now, 10 of you will say, sorry, sold out. So I'm only telling you if you're in good, just telling you if you're in good. That's the brights. There's a few more of the blue ones than there are of the brights one. But here's the blue one. So there, there's your front, front and your back. Actually, the choice is yours. It doesn't matter, does it? I'm calling them front and the back, but it can be either. There's your linings. There's your handles. Now, this, this panel here, that flower there, and those there are just spare for you to do whatever you want with. Then here's your two handles. There's your two facings. There's your instructions. And there's your spare bit of fabric. Yeah, no paper, no nothing with this. It's all there. Blue floral tote bag with instructions. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, and that will make you this cute, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll oh, go on. I think they'd look really lovely as well. I'm having a little look at it to do some hand embroidery on. Oh yes, yeah. They look gorgeous. And if Cara they? had these, she'd put some little seed pearls on yeah. there as well, would you? Especially on those ones that were like ones from your. Because it all fits in, doesn't it? it? Does. From your. But I love this as well. Like you were saying earlier, the facing there is the same as your straps, and then you go to your lining after that. That makes it look like kind of a bit designery, doesn't it? Because most people Very just much. take your fabric straight to the top there. So that's the blue one, $19.99. <coughs> Please keep going through. Please keep checking out. So how are we on that one then? Oh, OK, there's a third of those left, but not everyone, that's not including people who haven't checked out their baskets. I've got a question from Julie before we go. Catherine. Could I put fusible fleece in for more stability, please? I've also succumbed and clicked on buy Julie in Derbyshire. Absolutely, if you wanted to. I yeah. don't see why not. Now, yeah. would you put it on the outside fabric or would you put it on the lining? I would attach it to the outside fabric okay, and then perfect. still line it just as I did. Yeah, you yeah. could almost, if you've got some H640 in there as well, just if you want to do a little bit of quilting, you, you could, could quilt it. Absolutely. Right? You'd have to think about when you quilted it though. But yeah, you Before you put it all together, I would quilt it. Look at that, they've got a steel already of the pink one. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's not steel, that's live. Oh, that's no, that's because your hand's moving there. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I move the my hands, they can now take one. There we go. Okay, the bright one, the pink one, there's more, way more people now in baskets than we've got stock of. So please be careful. Okay, right, we're going for a break now. You'll see Catherine now's time on Yarn Lane. I've got a special guest at the beginning of the next hour, but we've also got a kit roundup. Oh, I've got this, Wendy Orlando's quilt from the other day. And I've got that lovely William Morris quilt as well, which we might hang up in a second. And, well, all sorts. I'll see you straight after this break. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and 
anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven, my mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron but I'm a terribly impatient person, I just want to get on with the project so I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. I've been promising you a special guest all morning and then out of the blue Steve Bennett comes in. That wasn't the special guest because spe Steve Bennett doesn't know how to use the uh, electric scissors you see. So I've got an expert in the world of electric scissor making and I know you've oh yes I know what's all this about right. I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh, here's my guest first of all. It's Neil right. Hi, Neil who's our boss right. Now on Facebook Neil said oh, I'm coming in at 11 o'clock. Everyone presumed there was some big Announcement, know, yeah. wasn't it? He went, there's no announcement. I'm just keeping coming in to keep a check on John. Keep John in check, right? And then everyone starts writing, your fault, you brought him back. You just, I was like, no, he's joking. He's not coming to check on me. He's come to do the scissors. Anyway, welcome to the show. Thanks. I wasn't joking. I've come to keep you in don't check. you. <laughs> right. Go on then. So I'm, I'm the um, self-proclaimed electric scissor expert. Yes. Um, Shall we put the graphics in first? Look, I want, oh, now, I don't think we've ever done these on split paper before, have we? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, okay, not with the demo, not with the demo. Not with so demo. look there, not, you not can get with these me, you know. Yeah. Not with the added value you get of seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> so look, 53.33, you can get these home for today. You pay that and your P&P, &P, and then you pay 53.33 next month, 53.33 next month, and then it's all done for. Right, so, sorry, I just had to get that out. So now you can start your demonstration. So I've, be I've become the expert of these scissors because they're absolutely brilliant for going around the office, p cutting people's belongings up. That's nice. They will literally cut anything, like wires off stuff, so... Um, if someone wants a wireless mouse, off yep. we go, yep. wireless mouse, here they come. So we've also got an extra special offer on these today, um, and that is for t absolutely today only, that everyone who buys these today will get a 25% gift voucher as well, £25 gift voucher. Oh, that that's a bit of, that was a bit of a secret. Yeah, yeah I, kept, I kept it secret because I thought you'd... Uh, so you'd so tell. everybody, you won't get a gift voucher sent, you'll get credit added to no, no, your... No, it'll be an actual gift card. Oh, it'll be an actual gift card. It'll be an actual voucher, so it'll either be a code or um, a card. Oh, sure, fantastic. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Did Hayley know about that? Did you know about that, Hayley? No, but she'll sort it. <laughs> okay, hang on oh, a second. Hang, stop, on. Hang, hang on, Hannah's saying something. Oh, they're £10 less than they've ever been before as Oh, well. yeah, and I put the price... Because whenever I come on TV, I think I've got to give myself a fighting chance to look good. So I'll reduce the price by £10 and I'll put the £25 gift voucher with them. So Hayley didn't know about the gift voucher. I didn't know about the £10 off. So they were doing, all, we're doing ever so well. So basically, okay. if you buy these, you're getting £35 because you're getting £10 basically, off yeah. and a gift yeah. voucher. Can't go wrong, really. So the best time to buy them today. Yes. So £10 cheaper than they normally are. And you get the voucher as well. That's yeah. because I'm on and I like to make myself look better. Okay, fine. So give myself it's a, a lovely, opinion. generous gesture. It is, isn't it? Because I know how many we've got of these. And if everyone sells, if they all sell out, that's an awful lot of vouchers you've got to give out. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let, why, would we, why would we want to buy them? What are they? How do they work? Okay, so these, are, well, they're electric scissors in the, in the most basic sense. Um, you'll see lots of electric scissors on air, but these particular electric scissors... Um, have been designed for semi-industrial semi use. So there's a few things that make these different to a lot of the other scissors you'll see on places like Amazon. Right. Um, the first difference is that the blades on these are tungsten steel. So the blades are exceptionally uh, exceptionally strong. I mean, this is, has got the blunt blades on now. I'll show you the strong, the different blades afterwards. Okay, because that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Blunt blades. Blunt blades, but even blunt blades will cut through pretty much anything. I haven't found anything yet, I can't cut them. I've cut electric cables on them, drinks cans. I mean, I've been around the office and, you know, okay. uh, cut everything with them. So they're very strong blades um, and they will keep retain their strength for ages. Um, if you look at the scissors, some of them have got mild steel blades. Um, some of them have got um, aluminium blades, which will be fine initially, but it won't take long before them to get uh, to blunt down. Yeah. And you can't always replace the blades on this one. You can. Oh. oh. Nearly cut, cut my fingers off. No, I'll show you that no, in a moment. don't say that. Oh, okay. So, but you can just clip these on and off. Um, another thing that makes these really good is they're they're actually relatively safe. D so, no. Here we go. No, don't go. do this at home. Please do not do this so, at home. But you can't actually uh, cut your finger at all. Now you, but you've got the blunt blades in. Well, even with the sharp ones, I'll do it with the sharp ones after. No, Maybe we can try it on your finger. No, it's fine. I'm too far it, away. If it wasn't for social distancing, we would try and cut John's fingers off now. Yeah, that costs you a fortune. But we, uh, we can't. Oh, yeah, they're insured, aren't they? <laughs> they, they certainly are. So, so they're quite safe to use. If you're like cutting through fabric and you accidentally go into your finger, it's not going to hurt. I mean, right. um, I won't advocate necessarily giving them to that. children no. or trying it, but, uh, you know, they're certainly How did you discover normal. that you could do that then? I just thought I'd try it. No. Matt, yeah. so, no, no, the supplier we get them from, which is actually Juki, they come from Juki. Oh, okay. Um, so the guy at Juki said, oh, you know, they won't chop your fingers off. And I said, okay, well, I thought I'd give it a try. You know, I trusted him. He's a nice, nice chap. Yeah. So, um, so first I'll show you what's in the box, then okay. we'll try and cut Yeah, 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 because have, have, have they've got a rechargeable battery on it, because they're, yep. they're not plugged into it. So they've got a rechargeable battery, which I'll show you as part of everything that comes in there. Right. Uh, it's a lithium ion rechargeable battery, and there's... There's lots of different types of rechargeable batteries you can get. Um, lithium ion is the same battery that's in your mobile phone. Right. So if you think about how, mo how long a mobile phone lasts, bear in mind the battery is quite small. Um, you've got quite a large battery in this, um, and that will give you a, probably about 12 hours continual cutting. Okay. Um, and that would be continual cutting. Bear in mind your hand's not always on the trigger. These do last ages. Yeah. Um, I think for the first few months we had these, we never even charged it. We just demoed it every show and we didn't put it on charge in between. So it lasts ages. It also uh, holds its charge when it's just sat there. So if you put them in your drawer and get them out a week later. It's that, not, it's not, okay. Yeah, they'll hold their charge. They're always ready to go. Yeah. Um, they come with a, a nice little dock. So you can charge it by putting the charger in the dock. Right. Um, and then that plugs into a wall. You've got the plugs there. And it's just a normal plug. Yep, all the plugs are in there to plug it into the wall, three-pin plug. Right. Um, the good thing is as well, when you are charging it, you don't have to stop cutting because it comes with another adapter, um, which is... And also, if you're always using them in the same place, you might want to leave this plugged in anyway, but I'd use it wirelessly. Yeah. But you've also got a wired adapter, so you can actually put the wired adapter in, and even w and they only fit in one way, so... Oh, OK, so you can't put it you in can't the wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah. So even when, um, even if it does run out of batteries, you can just use it on power. So you can just use it all the time. Okay. So, um, so that makes it really versatile. Um, another thing that makes this different to a lot of other electricities on the market is the actual rate in which it cuts. Um, so how many, if you think about how many times it opens and closes the blades, um, this opens and closes them at 6,000 uh, times a minute. How many? 6,000. Very fast. Yeah. Um, and what that means is when you're cutting, you get a nice smooth cut. 
Because if you imagine with a pair of scissors, you know, the more cuts you do as you go around yeah, the yeah, corner, yeah. the smoother Well, that's why we always say use a big shear, because the fewer snips yeah. you actually do. But yeah, that's constantly, constantly this constantly, so, it, so you'll get a nice, smooth corner. Whereas if you've got it slower, you'll see the jagged edges. Yeah. Um, also in the box, you get a, a, a sharper blade. Um, I don't actually know why you'd use the sharper blade, if I'm honest, because I've not found anything that the blunt blade won't go through. Oh, okay, I always thought but, the sharp blade was for fabrics and more well, chiffony things, and then the blunt blade was for everything else. Well, that's so. what they said it was for. I mean, they said the sharp blade's for your fabric and the blunt blade's for everything else, but I put the blunt blade on first when I was trying it, and the blunt blade will cut through anything nicely, so... Oh, okay. Although it's got a sharper blade, if I'm honest. You know, I think you use the blunt blade until it gets too blunt to use, then you use the then sharp use blade, the sharp and you've blade. effectively doubled the life, but... Yeah, exactly. I've not found anything yet that the sharp blade won't go through. Okay. You also get a screwdriver in the pack, which you can actually screw the, uh, there's two screws that hold the blade on if you want to keep it on a bit more permanently. You don't need to put it on. I mean, it's held on there nice and tightly um, by uh, this So just red that tip. red switch though? Yeah, but you can put the two screws in as well and it comes with the screwdriver and the screws to go in there if uh -huh. you want to keep it on a bit more permanently, make sure it doesn't come off. Um, I mean, the scissors are nice and light, so they can easily go in your bag if you're going out and about. Um, if you've got lots of cutting to do, then it saves your, uh, <laughs> saves your muscles. The battery will only go in the right way as well, so yeah. it's uh, foolproof, as they say. Right. So I think everyone wants to see me cut some stuff up. Yes, please. Um, everyone's a bit nervous today because this week we've, um, we've been in the office and we've been really busy. So I t said to everyone, I'll work from home on Friday. Um, and I think they're all a bit nervous knowing that I'm coming to cut stuff up of what they may have left on their oh, desk. Oh, is that why? No, but that's why we came in, all the tables are completely clean. Yeah, that's... They've <laughs> never been clear. Normally, was... you come in the morning, there's t stuff everywhere. And today, it's like all clear. Yeah, it was a good motivator to get everyone to clean their desks. <laughs> <laughs> everyone yesterday was like, you know, don't cut my mouse up, don't cut my earphones oh, up. Oh, no. Uh, we'll just try normal cotton first. I mean, this is your, um, you know, normal um, run-of-the-mill core. Um, a lilac-y co coloured uh, cotton here. doesn't matter about the colour, though. That doesn't make no, a difference, No, it'll cut any colour, <laughs> apart from red. No, I'm joking. <laughs> OK, so this is our Rose and Herbal core fabric. Yeah, and, I mean, it's almost pointless demo, I mean, it through, um, you know, one piece, but we will anyway. Yeah. Well. Now, is it important, you've got that white board underneath, do you think it's important to have something underneath it rather than just oh, no. the table? Oh, no. Hayley just gave me this to cut up, to be fair, and I left it there because I thought it would Oh, no, no, it was good because we saw all the bits and everything. Yeah. But actually, it seems quite good to have something underneath it as well, but yeah, you don't I, need to have I, it. I don't think so because, I mean, apart from it resting on the surface, it's, it wouldn't really do yeah. any damage. There's nothing sharp on the okay, bottom, fine. really. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's pointless really demoing it. It, it. That's the blunt blade goes with that really easy. Um, Two layers, four layers, eight. It's a good job it's kind of like even tables. Yeah. Otherwise I'd start. <laughs> so you've got eight, eight layers there. These are the blunt blades and, you know, it doesn't even slow it down. So if you fold it again, what's two eights? Sixteen. Sixteen. 16. Uh, to be fair, I'll run out of mental maths before we uh, get to the point where we can't cut it. Yeah. Uh, Wendy says, oh, wow, so good to see Neil. Well, and being fun. Have you been poorly? Well, I had, I've had, I broke my foot, didn't I? Oh, you've always got a broken foot. But I didn't know I had a broken foot for three months because they x-rayed it twice and didn't find it. Then they MRI'd it and didn't find it. Then a specialist found a broken bone in there. I was like, that's why you can't walk. But it's funny because he rung me up and I was driving. He says, you're not walking on it, are you? I was like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> driving, but I'm not walking on it. But it's fine. It had already healed by the time they actually worked out what it was. So 16... Have you, have you had time to put it in plaster then, or has it healed itself? Well, they, they should have put it in plaster, but they the didn't realise. So by the time they realised it was broken, it was kind of fixed again. So they're now going to send me back in to check it to see if they need to re-break it. Oh, no. Um, but I said, if you're going to do that, you'll have to do it in the winter because I want to ride my bike in the summer. Yeah, exactly. When so, the summer ever arrives. But anyway, so that's 16 so, layers. So, of so that we've then. been through 16 layers. Um, you know, we showed you it go through in a straight line, 16 layers, really easily. Those are the blunt blades as well. If yeah. you put the sharp ones on, even better. Um, I'm neither left or right-handed. Uh, I've, I've, I'm equally bad with both hands. <laughs> so, uh, so with scissors, I always obviously have to use them right-handed because yeah. they're designed for right-handed. But this will just, you can use it either hand. And you can go around corner like that, and that will have made a circle. Is it? Uh, yeah, that is it, that bad? Nearly a circle. If you'd penciled it, you yeah, could exactly, do it better, couldn't exactly. you? I just did that. Um, so you can cut round circles. And because the blades go so fast, it does mean you can kind of cut round in, you know, quite intricate uh, shapes. I mean, this is, what, four layers thick yeah. now. Got a question. Can... Oh, got a question for you. Oh, there you go. Do the scissors cut round corners or curves? 
Rachel in Wiltshire. And again, if you accidentally, don't matter. Yeah. So you can cut round corners quite easy. So if yeah. you mark, if you mark something out on there, you could quite easily cut round. Perfect. Um, if you've got any tasks where you're doing lots of cutting, and it's like you know, obviously it's a lot easier, and they're not very heavy either; they're no. quite light. No. So that's the kind of cut and cut through which we kind of knew it would cut through that, yeah. didn't we? we Anyone seen it before? So we tried to find some interesting sewing-related stuff this time to cut through. Right. Um, so we've got some webbing. Right. Where so have you got that from? It was on your desk. Oh, not mine. I haven't got a desk. <laughs> it's your belt. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some webbing uh, again. I mean, this is the blunt blade on here, and yeah. it's gonna, right. you know, go through that easy. You know, double it up. So webbing's no problem for uh -huh. it. Um, what else have we got in our pile? Uh, we've got some leather. We just wondered whether it cut through leather. I'll have show you practiced, or you just is this the first time you're cutting these things on air? Um, I've practiced on so I've practiced on the webbing. Yeah, yeah, I, so yeah, on the I mean, I've used these scissors so often, you kind of know what it'll cut through. Oh, okay. it, is, it is unbelievable what they'll cut through. We, um, so Hayley, um, who, who uh, we car, I car share with Hayley, she lives by me. Um, every time she moves house, she gets slightly closer to where I live, which is worrying. <laughs> but she's uh, just had all her garden done and she wanted some shielded cabling and she's tight. So she said to Elliot, who runs the studio, have you got any cabling there that I can have some shielded cabling for the garden? And he says, I've got this one for the light. So she um, she liberated that cable from the oh, building. Oh, nicked it, yeah. But obviously, it's got the connectors on for the lights. So we, we're gonna, you know, she was thinking, oh, how are we going to get these off? So I thought, I wonder, I wonder. So, yeah, straight through this thick cable that you use for... And what's she going to use it for? Putting lights in the garden, apparently. Oh, OK. I don't know why. She's got no one to sit in the garden with. No. But she can sit there in the garden on her own in the light. <laughs> but we've got some leather, le leather here, blunt blades. Um, so it cuts through the leather, no problem. That's quite thick leather as well. If we go for two layers of leather. Princess thinks they'll be good for a toenail. Someone else said, can, they, can you run them along the side side of a ruler? Could you, do you know the um, cutting ruler? I've never tried that. Have we got one? They're on the wall behind you. Have we got one? While you're doing that, I'll get a message from Sa Sandy. You always say Sadie on this one. Morning, chaps. I bought mine after lovely Neil's last demo. Absolutely fantastic. Came in so handy for sewing for good causes. Uh, from Sandy in Cornwall. Um, Sandy, uh, we'll ask Sandy because Neil's not a quilter. Neil, uh, can you, Sandy, <laughs> Sandy, can you run it up along the side of a ruler? Do let me know. I think you'd probably struggle a little bit if I'm honest because the, unless it would go that way, but then. Yeah, but you could mark it up maybe. That's yeah. not likely. <laughs> oh. Kind of, kind yeah. of. It's probably more. I'd mark it with the ruler, then cut it maybe. Yeah, mark it with the ruler. I mean, they, they, they naturally track very straight. Yeah. So if you see when I'm cutting. You do get a generally like if you're holding it down, you get. Well, also leather. Anyway. Leather's not the best thing to show straight lines on because you go with the, the the skin, the flesh sort of thing. So it's not always going to be straight, is it? I don't know anything about leather. No, okay, that's fine. <laughs> what about your Saturday night outfit? Isn't that made of leather? It is, but I don't have to cut it up. No. <laughs> We've got another piece it's as well. Got the holes in us. The chaps. So you wear the chaps at the weekend. <laughs> and you when I come to yours. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Andrew's breath. Right, okay, what's this then? And again, just another piece of leather, nice big piece. So, you know, do some, go around some corners. Hayley's going to have a party so she can sit with people with their lights in the garden. So, again, you can. What's she making exactly? Um, mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just showing how you can go around nice tight corners. Yeah. So, but you can see, I mean, this is the blunt blade as well. Yeah. So Question, how heavy are they? Morning, how heavy are they to use? Um, I'd say it's about the weight of a can of Coke. You might have it in the uh, instructions, <laughs> the weight. But let's have a look. Other, other fizzy drinks are available. Other fizzy drinks are available, yeah. Right, Neil's offer with these today is if you buy these today, they're already £10 cheaper than we've ever sold them before, but you also get a gift voucher of £25, did you yeah, say? Yeah, £25 gift voucher £25 as well. pound gift voucher. That is only today, so if you're watching this on Catch Up and you're watching it tomorrow, so it's only today, oh, only, Friday. So until midnight tonight. Until midnight tonight, watching, yeah. So what day is it? It's Friday the... 21st. 21st. Yeah, 21st. 21st. So if you're watching this on Friday the 21st before midnight, after that, you won't get the deal. So these are the sharp blades. I mean, visually, there's not a lot to differentiate them. You can kind of see a little bit on the edge there, but these are the sharp blades. We've had the blunt blades up, up until now. But again, obviously the sharp blades. And 
at Marina, they are our vouchers, not Woolworths or anywhere else. You can't choose no. where your vouchers are from. So yeah, I've got the sharp blades and to swap them, it's just a case of red thing, clip one off, clip the other one on. Okay, now Hayley's arguing with you now, Neil. She's saying you won't get a voucher, it'll be credited off your account. You get a credit on your account. Well, Hayley's in charge, I just, you know. Is she though? I is just, she? I just, is I... What's her title these days? We're not quite sure. Oh no, I'm not either. Okay. So she changes her job title all the time. Yes, I know. Like, she a... changes it for the for the for her email. So yeah, her email grander. signature. I never know what she actually no. does. Hayley, what are you now then? Yeah, what... <laughs> what is she? <laughs> is that rude? Head of entertainment. Head of entertainment. <laughs> well, you better start working on that one, girl. Right. What's next then? Uh, well, I was just going to go through another piece of leather again. <laughs> got the blunt blade on. And what's that you've gone through? I don't know. What is it? Pleather or something? Oh no, it's a it's a bag base. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a bag, bag base. base. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just found it as I was going through. Base. I thought I wonder what the holes were for. That's where you sew it. Yeah, but it's a bit sense. late now. Makes yeah. sense. Oh, okay. does that need to stay together? Does it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So that'll be. Could you put that on Neil's bill, please, Hannah? Neil's bill. I mean, we, 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 oh, we've done no. this every time. Someone wrote we? earlier, oh, watch out, Neil's in, put the cutting boards away. Yeah, we've done this before, but yeah, it will go through a cutting mat. Right, Suzanne says, could you make sure I don't get those pieces in my next scrap bag? Yeah. Uh, Princess says, how on earth they cut so well, yet you can't even cut your finger with them? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, but they, it is really good, because if you are cutting stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah, oh, that, oh, I can see the end of your finger going like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't sell replacement blades, though, do we? we don't fingers. No, we don't. We, we don't. I mean, we can have a look at it. I mean, they've lasted ages. I mean, we've had these for, it's got to be over 12 months now. Yeah. And like, I'm always cutting stuff that you shouldn't that cut. you shouldn't I mean, be cutting with Yeah, them, I mean, in yeah. reality, you're not going to be cutting up cables and cutting mats at home. But um, after 12 months of, a, you know, real abuse, these are still really yeah. sharp. So. Carpet, actually, they'd be really good. Hannah's just saying they'd be really good for carpet. You know, when you're laying a carpet, it's really difficult to get that smart, yeah. neat edge and everything like that, yeah. So one thing we use them for in the office quite a lot is getting the uh, cardboard into the um, recycle bin. Yeah. So it's weird because with fabric scissors, you're only supposed to use one fabric, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. But these do kind of get used on everything. But then they can't blunt them. If they're blunt already, you can't blunt them, can you? Well, I think they're still sharp, but they're blunter than the, the sharp yeah, pair. But it's weird, though, that they don't cut through a finger. You know, so they can, yeah. And yet they can just slice through all of these other things. Yeah, probably good for taking plaster casts off. Oh, I wonder what you're going to say then. <laughs> yeah. So we, we use them in the office all the time for making the cardboard yeah. smaller, but, you know. So it'll go through your cardboard, no problem. Yeah. Hayley also wanted me to demo. She's, she's, she's put this together this morning. Has she stitched got, it? No. She's, oh, she's used, 505. Used, used the micro... What's the micro tool? Micro stitch tool, Micro stitch yeah. tool. So, yeah, she's so got... So she's made a quilt sandwich. She's made a quilt sandwich. So she's got the cotton, the fuzzy stuff. Yeah, that's for wadding. Wadding <laughs> and some more cotton. Yeah. So she's like, can you cut through this? So, And you've not practised this now, have you? No, we've never practised this. This is the first time we've ever done this. But again, I'm not. <laughs> so if you wanted to tidy up the edges of your quilt or whatever. You... Well, one, the thing is you always have your bottom layer and your wadding bigger than your top because it moves. So then yeah. afterwards you then have to then cut it down. So, so yeah. Um, she also gave me this to cut up. Um, you know, I think it's going to be no surprise that it will... <laughs> Now she's taken that off somebody's desk. Oh, I know what that is. What's that? You can't cut that up. <laughs> now, okay, so Ryan and Hannah. Oh, is that what they take the photos yes, on? Yes, <laughs> that's the white background that we take the photo. If any of the photos haven't got a white background anymore, it's probably because I've cut it oh, up. Oh, yeah, okay, then fine. But, I mean, that's that's five, six mil thick. Yeah, but what I'm is it? Foam board, in it. It's, it's what? Foam board? Foam board. <laughs> Right, the electric scissors are really good if you've got arthritis in your hands. Mine came with earplugs because of the noise. <laughs> well, that's what you could spend your voucher on your earplugs. We haven't got earplugs with us. Love it when Neil demonstrates. Such a nice man, but a bit of an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> well, Margaret, you'll be blocked. Margaret Lady. Well, I just, I, I act a bit amateur to make John feel better. Don't want to show him up, do I? Can't show the talent up. Anyway, have you finished? I've finished. So, yeah, so just to remind you, you get the 25 cent, um, no, 25 pounds, so. 25 pound voucher today, all credit, if you buy them. And yeah. there's already 10 pound off because I reduced the price by 10 pound yesterday. I so where does it say that in the graphics then? We didn't put it on the graphics because we wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, okay, you didn't want me to know, so I didn't you steal your thunder. Didn't you just do, uh, steal it, no. So I'll quickly show everyone what comes in a sealed box that we haven't opened and... Uh, 
Are you going to open another box? Well, then? I'm just going to show, show it in. I'm not going to get everything out. That's oh, okay. how it arrives. Um, but if you buy it, this is how it will this is how it will arrive. You've got your instructions in there. You've got your unit. You've got your little screwdriver. You've got two pair of adapters. Just move to your left a bit, Neil. So you've got Brilliant. two pair of adapters, so you can charge and use it at the same time. You've got your two blades in there. So now it's got like what my, my toothbrush and my shaving, the end of the plug is like the two pin that I have yeah. on my thing. Is there a, oh, there is a plug for Yeah, it so it all well. comes with that. So, but if you do take it on holiday, it's already got the two pin, but we've got all the three pin plugs in there as well. Yeah. Or if you charge it in the bathroom, because I've, I've, got, I've got plugs like that in my bathroom. Yeah. So you, you get the instruction manual, little screwdriver, you get your two ends, you get your adapter for plugging it into the wall, charging it. Brilliant. Is there anything else you want to say while you're here? No, no, all good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for coming in, because we, we, I thought you were all in today. You you're, all, uh, was supposed, you're all working from, ho working from home today. <laughs> yeah, we're working from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, it's just a coincidence that it's Friday and the pubs are open. Oh, OK, working from home. that's fine. And who's driving, you or Hayley? Uh, I drove in today. Oh, no. Oh, you don't drink anyway, do you? No. No. All right, then. Thank you very much indeed. No worries. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you, Neil, and thank you for watching, Neil, and we'll see you on Monday, then. Oh, I'm not in Monday, Tuesday, I'll see you Tuesday. Am I on Tuesday? You've got to come in one day, yeah. Uh. Oh, no, you're just doing a few days from home now, then. Oh, no, I thought you meant, am I uh, on air? Tuesday? Oh, no, not on air. Oh, Don't off. get off. <laughs> you can't have you on more than once a week. No, well, I think they, they want me on a regular slot, don't they? Who, who do you say? The, the fans, they just want to see more of me. They're always saying, you know, when you come in on yeah, air next. you can have too much of a good thing, you see, Neil. Yeah, that's why I only come on once every uh, few months. Yeah, exactly. You know, keep them keen, keep them waiting. OK, now you need to clear that table because Hannah's I'm, got to set it. That's what I'm doing, I'm doing. All right, then. Thank you very much indeed. No worries. Neil Garrett, everybody. Thank you. Round of applause. Right, OK, let's get on with uh, other things. <laughs> Don't keep your... Yeah, they were still watching you carry all those things <laughs> off. Right, where are we starting, Hannah? I've got, now I've not seen this fabric before. Um, I know Bex Reed had it the other morning and I was watching from home. It looks gorgeous. So is it in one big bundle? Okay, oh, so I've only got, I've only got it in the big bundle. If you want half meters, you need to go and look for them on the website. Hannah's gone very quiet. There you go. Oh, she's not in there anymore, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so I've only got the big bundles. Let's go through it. So we've got the leaf vine ones with the daisies. We've got the um, crisscross one. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? These are beautiful. These are lovely soft colours. What's that one called? So I can have a look for the future. Mineral, that one's called. Pure fruit in mineral. Oh, is the whole collection called minerals? The whole collection's called minerals. Thank you. Hannah's cleaning the table. Look. She's hiding her face now. She's behind the ground. She's got to clean. We have to clean the table. <laughs> it's all right. We're off you now. We're off you now. We have to clean the tables. <laughs> we have to clean the tables, obviously, between guests and sanitise and everything like that. So anyway, here we go. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this one. This one's called... Uh Oh... We've cut, the, we've cut that one out. That's beautiful, though. Traditional, 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 isn't it? Beautiful. So that's the blue one. Then we've got the lovely grey one. Oh, these are gorgeous, aren't they? How much is this? £97.37. and But you are getting seven metres, but you get, you're only paying for six and a half. You're only paying for six and a half metres. Look, I'll start putting them on. This. Oh, oh, that's the same as that one there in that colourway there. That's the same as that one in that colourway there. Oh, that's, now that's beautiful. That's like willow leaves, isn't it, that one? Oh, we've cut them all off before we can wear the... Oh, there you go. Willow bough, that one. Willow bough. Oh, look. Oh, look at that one in the, in the colour. Honeysuckle and tulip, that one's called. So is that the same as the navy blue one? It is, isn't it? Oh, I love, love, love these. Look. See, like, uh, Elliot says it's like a negative, obviously, the other way around. Beautiful. Yeah, I said that. You're not listening, Elliot. Yeah, you get half a metre free. That's all right. Yeah, half a metre free. So that one goes with the blue one there. Hang on, so that one I've not seen, that one either. 
Gorgeous. Then we've got, oh, look. Oh, the, oh, I love, oh, look at the colour of that one. Pure sunflower, that one's called. Oh, oh, look, and there's, there's the, is that the tulip? And, yeah, look, that's the tulip and, um, no, it isn't. That's different again, isn't it? That's different again. That one's, oh, this is Elliot, the bachelor's button, this one's called. Beautiful. Then, and no, that's the same as that purple one. Oh, I love those. I can say this again, Han. Okay, I'm not going to show them during the show, but if you want any of these by the half meter, Hannah's going to find them and pop them on too. Will you put them on, on pre-order or will they be in show? Okay, we're going to put them on pre-order. Don't go yet. Don't go yet because she's got to find them and put them all on by the half meter because they're so exquisite. And I imagine that you, oh, they're just beautiful, aren't they? I think these are just beautiful. You know, like these crazy Lorraine will like these. They're stunning. That one especially. I love that one there. Now, I've got a bundle that goes with. It's called complimentary. It means goes with, not for free. I'll just quickly put those away. Oh, you can feel the quality of these. They're lovely. You can tell. You can tell they're class, those. Right, okay. This is the complimentary bundle. Was there a pink fabric that we haven't got anymore then? Misty blue, misty blue, dark teal. They're lovely, aren't they? You see, I'd have put, I'd have put a like um, this sort of toe, a goldy colour in there as well. I mean, you have got a lot of gold in the fabric, so maybe you don't need that as a complimentary. Because look, you get gold in there, gold in there. Yeah, you see, they're beautiful, aren't they? So this bundle is two and a half metres of fabric, sixteen ninety nine. People sending me messages now, glasses on. I was never sure if I liked William Morris fabric until I ordered some, and now I'm hooked. It's so beautiful. Sixteen ninety nine. Uh, I've also got an extra wide backing that we launched earlier today in the beige tones, the more beige tones, this one. This is from a different, this is a different, this isn't William Morris, but Hannah thinks it will look gorgeous as the backing to the, to the quilt maybe. Oops. So the, this fabric here is 108 inches wide, 100% uh, cotton, machine washable. Lovely, isn't it? But obviously, let me take those out because you don't get those. So this is what I'm looking, you're looking at now. 108 inches wide, 12.99 for half a metre. Now, the ones in the bundle were already cut at half metres. This one you have off the bolt, so you can have as much as you want by the half metre. Okay, now, you know the rainbow um, one we had extra wide earlier? Completely sold out. I'm presuming the paint's black. Oh! Do you want to go there first or do you want to denim first? Right, paint splatter first. Right, there's only 11 metres this off, but I bet there's, I bet there's lots in, bun, in um, baskets. That, okay, there's 11 metres of this left. There are 22 people got it in their basket. If you all want half a metre, then that's fine. We'll be fine. Gorgeous. Now, Princess says, John, I have to say, you look particularly well today. Do you know what? I hate to say it, and I never say this about myself. I agree, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't, I don't kind of dis, I disturb night's sleep. Maybe it's because I'm now Hannah's boyfriend. No, I think that would make me look kind of wan and pale, wouldn't it? No, no. Anyway, uh, please be careful. If you've got that in your basket, you need to check out because lots of you are going to be told 
that there's none left. Right, the denim, I'm surprised there's any of this one left, actually, because I know loads of people came in. Imagine a lovely skirt, a button-through skirt in this in the summer. Oh, look. I've got 16 metres left. How many people got it in their baskets? 28 people have got it in their baskets. No, really. They've just done it as a graphic from the computer. But if you watch Great British Stoneby this week, what did they do? They did recycle, reuse denim, didn't they? It's not denim. Not, it's not denim. It's 100% cotton, quilting weight fabric. It's beautiful quality. I mean, it would look amazing on the back. Imagine that on your bed, looking like, you know, like the back of a quilt sort of thing. It is beautiful. But I'm thinking, so I'm thinking of a button through A-line skirt. Oh, that's nice, thank you. Elliot's thinking dog bed. His dog would look nice in denim, apparently. Worrying. <laughs> Hannah's re remarking of the time when we showed a picture of a dog and I went, oh, that's a very handsome dog. And she won't let me forget it now. Look, Glenn says, lovely morning, John. Enjoyed the show. Glenn is, we're not finished yet. We've got another half an hour of this and then we've got um, Yarn Lane after that. So like, my earpiece was hurting. Right, what are we doing next? I've got dinosaurs, I've got owls, I've got some Michael Miller fabric. <laughs> okay, we've got one extra right back in, which was hanging on the wall behind... Um, oh, was it, has it been up there? Oh, Catherine's last hour. The stripe is here, here, here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. There. Right, this is a backing fabric that's been hanging on the wall. It's going to be thrown in now, you watch. <laughs> that didn't work. Right, this is the other extra wide backing we've got here. Put the graphics in, would you, Hannah? 100% cotton. Now, this is not new today. We have had this one in before, but it's compl it completely sold out in an instant last time. Yes, Glennis, I'm on tomorrow and on Sunday. And Glennis, in June, you're going to be so sick of the sight of me. I'm doing 22 shifts in June, including my birthday weekend. Anyway. Huh? Hmm? I'm not making anything. Just. Right, okay. Now, I've not seen this bundle before, the Michael Miller bundle here. This is lovely, isn't it? Look, so it's fun, this one. So you get the one with animals. You get the striped animal. This is a bundle, isn't it, yeah? Striped animals. Then you get your animals on mottled background. Then you get your monochrome uh, stripes, your monochrome animals. You get your lovely spots. Oh, that's cute. Animals in squares. And then, it's not upside down now. And then, do you get this as well? And a panel, and a panel for $66.99. All I can see written here is giraffe. Oh, look. Learning the animals at home for my zoology exam. Monkey, elephant, cheetah, lion, zebra, giraffe. Where's chameleon? Yeah, here he is. There he is. Can you see him? I'm fine, thanks, Elliot. What's the matter with you? Oh, Christine's off to work, everyone. It's been lovely watching and chatting. Roll on June, she says. Don't roll on June, you squasher. Never sick of the side to you. More we can't... Oh, thank you, Princess. Oh, and thank you, Lynn. You're very kind. Some people wouldn't agree with you, though. Well, no, 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 because Han... No, no, this is the whole point, right? So uh, in June, we go out of our bubbles in June, right? So I'm only on with Hannah 10 times over those 22 days. Yeah, that's right. And then 12... No, 
Yeah, 12 with cats. 12 with cats. I, I thought I had one with Little Paul, but Little Paul's, but I think, producing this out this month. Right. Oh, that, that's a bundle. That comes with that. That all comes with that. On the overhead, Elliot. There we go. Hey! Okay, that's a bundle. That's a bundle. That's a bundle. Then I've got some others. I've got to get on now, look, because we're nearly finished on yarn lane now. These are all by the half meter, aren't they? So we'll start with this one, blue dinosaurs. Oh, what did I say? Oh, sorry, dragons. What was the name of the dragon queen? See, this is my, my memory's going. What? Yeah, but what was her nickname? No, it wasn't Daenerys. What was her name? Anyway, Once Upon a Time, Knights on Blue. Yeah, on Game of Thrones. There's only two and a half metres left. No. It wasn't Daenerys that I used to call her. Anyway, sad, isn't it, how your memory goes? Right, here, next one. On, oh, now I'm going to princesses now. Here we go. That's cute, isn't it? This is flying unicorns. Is it a unicorn, though? Has it got a horn? Oh, no, the horn's further down. There it is, yeah. <laughs> so, now, hang on. Yeah. Hang on, there's, there's, that's how Elliot got to work this morning. We're back to there. That's where I live. Oh, hang on. That's where I live, yeah. And then, so now, Elliot's saying, which one's me? Well, there's only the choice of two. There's either blonde or dark. There's not a grey princess. Where's the frog? Oh, yeah. Oh, you have to kiss. Oh, yes. No, you could be the princess who's kissed hundreds of frogs. Well, that's what they say, isn't it? Keep kissing the frogs and then your Prince Charming will come. One of them will turn your Prince Charming. No, you've not got me, Hannah. You've got that wrong. Your mother will start getting very excited if she thinks I'm going to be her son-in-law. Right, now these are beautiful. Do you remember we did these with Barbara McClay, who's going um, mountaineering? To, was it to, uh, either mountaineering or what's that thing you and Paul used to do? Rock climbing. She's going rock climbing. She's going either rock climbing or mountaineering. Yeah, with Paul, they used to get together on dates. Seven pounds and 49 pence, half me to stay wild, moon child. This is sunny day on blue. Lovely. Hannah wasn't very good at letting go and just dropping back down to the floor though. What do they call it? Not sublimating. What do they call it when you go, what you go down when you've got a string on and you go like that? You go down the mountain. Paraglide. No. What's it called when you go down and you bounce off the side of the mountain? No, it's para something anyway. That. She wasn't very good at that. Right, this was my favourite fabric from the collection. Never stop looking up. Abseiling, thank you. Not parasailing, abseiling. When uh, Elliot was fit, he used to do things like abseiling and rugby. Apparently, I heard from Jeremy Joe, because he went to school with Jeremy Joe, that at school he was a heartthrob. I know. I know, it's sad, isn't it? Right, then, look at this, look at this. Tom and Jerry, randomly, in the middle of... <laughs> it's because Hannah loves Tom and Jerry. Oh, this feels a bit wider, this one. Look, Tom and Jerry, £5.49 for half a meter, 100% cotton. Oh, thank you, yeah, abseiling, I'm saying abseiling, thank you. Huh? Yeah. I, when he said all the rugby team boys, he said all the rugby team boys were like real heartthrobs and studs around the school. And then Elliot, and then Elliot was one of the heartthrobs because he was in the rugby team. £5.49.
Lovely Tom and Jerry fabric. Right, look now, now, I've only got a few minutes left. I've got loads of stuff on the other desk to do. I won't take my iPad with me. I'll just walk, right? I'll take my glasses. Here we go. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. I've got my compression socks. I've got my compression socks on today. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right, I'm fine. I'm here. Right, let's do... Oh, it's cold over this side of the studio. We're doing what first? Oh, is that what it's called? Cattails. I always thought this one was called snail's tails for some reason. Right. Here we go. So it's behind me. And it was demonstrated by Emma Bradford on 16th, just gone. 16th of, of this month, 16th of May. Right, in the box. Now, this one's just one that we had open here. So in the box, you get the fabric, you get everything for the top and the, and the binding. So you get this. You get this. Now, this is a fabric designed by Tula Pink's tattoo artist. That one there, which is the cat tails. Look how big that cat is. Then you've got the cats go fishing coloured in. Then you've got that one on a different scale, different colourway. This is ev this is everyone's favourite. Magnolias with black cats in. Then we've got the balls of wool. Then you get your whole uh, um, instructions and everything. Tells you which fabric. Oh, look. <laughs> which, <laughs> which fabrics are for which bit? I do apologise. Oh, look, split pay. Two split pays of $54.99. Pay $54.99 today. <coughs> Excuse me. And $54.99 in a month's time. And you can get that. It's beautiful. The fabrics are such good quality. And actually, even though it looks difficult, I think Emma said it was quite easy, didn't she? What was she, she said about it? Yeah, intermediate. That's right. Don't buy it as a beginner. More like an intermediate. But it, once you've got the hang of it, because it's the same block, over and over and over again. Oh, that's right, because you have to make, that's what I remembered now. There are the five different blocks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, all the thread, the fabric threads just come out there. There's the five different blocks. You make one of those, because that's in the centre. Then you make five of those, four of those, ten of those, and ten of those. And then when it all joins together, all the colours are all in the right places. Beautiful. Nice. Bugs in a bag by Wendy Orlando. I'm surprised she hasn't messaged in today. She must be doing a shopping or a cleaning or something. Blue first. Right, this is limited, limited, limited. Uh, I thought she, oh no, I thought she took them home, but we've got the sample somewhere. Anyway, you get the instructions, you get half a metre of your blue fabric, and you get the panel. Look. In here, you get your... Noughts and crosses. This makes the... Have we got a picture, Elliot? If you wouldn't mind. Because otherwise I won't be able to sh show you what it looks like, will I? Hang on. 25th of November was the big demonstration. We did it again last week or the week before, didn't we? Oh, these are the game rules. Anyway, so that's your tic-tac-toe. That's your throwing your bean bags, your heavy bean bags. That's your snakes and ladders, but Wendy's version. This is your dice. Oh, blue one's about to sell out. They are your tokens that you make. Right, the blue one's about to sell out, so I'm going to put that one away. All right, then I've got the green one. Blue one, very popular there. Right, now the green one, you get your chartreuse as your background. There we go. And then, here we go. So they're all your um, tokens, your spiders, your snail. No, that's not a snail. Slug. Dragonfly, caterpillar, bumbly bee, butterfly, ant, ladybird. So you get everything to make everything in there. There it is. So you make the bag that it all lives in. That's all the bits that were just cut out. She's not bothered making them on that one. Oh, bless you. Yeah, you can't make it without the panel, I'm afraid. A 
Okay, well, I'm going to move on. I'm not waiting for a picture. Thank you. Victoria Carrington's Little House. It's just one of these. Yeah, here we go. So these are the instructions. Now, we did this last 15th of May. We did these. The graphics didn't work last time, so a lot of people missed out. 16.99. So you get the little houses and you get the panel. If you do make these, I know it's going to sound obvious, but please, please, please. Have we got a picture, Elliot, or the little film? Please, please, please do not put real candles in them. I know it sounds obvious, but I just don't want anyone creating any issues. What's the matter? Where is it? Do we not keep anything here anymore then? They're lovely little houses. Here they are on the picture here, look. That's what they look like in the daylight. And that's what they look like with candles inside them. Without, do not put real candles inside. Now to make them, you need some of this um, interfacing. H250 this was. A what? There you go. Well done, Elliot. That was Elliot's film. Oh, wasn't it? Oh, yours must have been even worse than that then. There you go. Thank you, Elliot. This is the Visine 250 that you need to build the houses with. Demonstration was on the 15th of May. Me and Victoria Carrington. And you buy this by the half metre. It's 179 it's like a very heavyweight Visine, one side stickable, one side not, fusible uh, interfacing. And she also used some stitch and tear. Roger. Here he is, Rog. Oh, who put that across his mouth? <laughs> no, I haven't seen him this morning. No. It's not even, it's one of the stickers you can't take off. Oh, by the way, I've already unpacked tomorrow's, but some of the stickers wouldn't come off the bag. I'll explain that to you later. Just while I remember. £2.49. Right, okay. Candles to go inside. Four candles. No, six actually. Candles. LED. No batteries in here. Oh, they're coming up next. So you get six of the bat. Yeah. No. No. You switch them off, right? You switch them on and off by blowing... Well, it, this is how it actually... <laughs> Turn the light on and off with a puff. Yeah? You blow it on it. And it, I'm going to... We've got these open. I'm going to practice. I can't do it now because... What? Oh, here you go. Here's, here's, uh, this is Victoria's uh, pit video. These are the candles. Were well, they put on by a puff? Right, okay. So there's six candles. Then we've got the six batteries to go in the candles. These are good value. Wait till you see the price of these. I'm sure they've got this wrong because I'm sure you pay two pounds for one of those in the supermarket. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? They most probably must be one ninety nine each, aren't they? Pack of six. Well, that's a bit worrying if your car runs on a battery that size, Elliot. Right, okay, quickly, because look at the time. I've got to go to Yarn Lane in a minute. Badger. You haven't got, we haven't got what? Uh, this was the last cushion we did on the 15th of May with Victoria Carrington. So you get the panel, you get half a metre of cream, half a metre of pink, and the panel with all the different colours on. In here, you get every template you need, but you also get a free uh, complement, you know, a free supplement about how to bind, how to do binding. All of that for 19 99 Now, if you think we had a panel earlier, it was 19 99 on its own. In this one, you get the panel, you get a metre of fabric, and you get Victoria Carrington's instructions. Well, think about it. These normally sell for $9.99, don't they? Just saying. That's the badger. Then we've also got the fawn. 
exactly the same uh, day, 15th of May. So on this one, you get your panel, you get half a meter of the chambre, half a meter of the natural seeded cotton. Instructions and panel, £19.99. Then you've got what? Oh, yes, now I wasn't, these were in for Jules, right? Jules had these last Monday with Rebecca Reed. Oh, okay, so we can do, we're doing them individually. So what's that one then? Individual. But is that all three or is that one? Oh, okay, so we've got them individually, but we also got them in three, in the three. That doesn't seem right, does it? Says save over 15%, but no. Anyway, look, so if you buy all three, you get this one. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. And then what's that? Lilac. You see, these are supposed to be 9 9 uh, yeah, no, oh, nine ninety nine each. That's good. So you, are, yeah. Oh, it says the same thing, just in different colorways. Sorry, I thought I thought they were going to say different things. So you get th th that one, that one, and that one, and then you get this one in the green. Is it green? This one. Right. Hang on. So third, if they're third, so they're supposed to be nine ninety nine each. So you get that's thirty pounds. So ten percent of that is three pounds, so four pound fifty off. Oh, it's just a bit more, isn't it, than four pound fifty? Because it's five pounds and a penny you get off. Anyway, that's a lovely colour. Oh, it's called red and yellow, that one. So that's to get all three. That's if you want all three. Jules did it, was it last Monday Jules was on with this? I think so. 17th, last Monday, last Monday. So you get all three of those panels for twenty four ninety nine. I do have them individually. Which colour are you going through first? Red and yellow, of course we can. Yeah. Red and yellow first, that's this one. Nine ninety nine, that's the red and yellow one. It's a very soft red and yellow. It's like, you know, when your printer's about to run out of a colour. No, no, I've made that sound as though it's not nice. It is a lovely colour. But when you get it home, don't think you're going to get bright red and bright yellow. That's all. No. Right, then I've got pink and purple. Pink and purple. Nine ninety nine. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got the blue and lilac. Lilac. Nice, beautiful. No. No, Elliot says he smells colours. Right, tomorrow's menu. He's with us for three days, how are we going to cope? There you go, tomorrow's menu. Right, brand new guest tomorrow. So with Beth. Uh, she's brand new. She's been in to visit. I've forgotten her surname. Miller, that's it. Beth Miller. Beth Miller. So with Beth. Oh, and, we, and we've got a giveaway tomorrow. We've got a giveaway tomorrow as well. I'll tell you about that tomorrow. So it's So with Beth cushion kits at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, we've got the Petworth dress by the Sussex Seamstress. I don't know why it doesn't say Sussex Seamstress on the... Um, thing there with Mark Francis. So with Beth doing Sashko in 10 o'clock. Uh, the Elsie trousers, there's all oh, things been miss, miss, missed out there. So it's Mark Francis making, now they're not Sussex, I don't, aren't they? Um, Fiona Hesford's trousers tomorrow. I think that's Fiona Hesford's trousers tomorrow. Then we go to Yarn Lane, I knit designs with Denny Gould. I don't think I've met Denny yet. I don't think I've met Denny yet. That's tomorrow, uh, but, but anyway, we're not finished yet. Oh, yeah, there are so girl pattern trousers. Thank you, I was right. Right, now, now, no, 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 no. If you're watching the telly, stay where you are, because Yarn Lane will just come straight up on your telly. If you're watching on the YouTube, on the Facebook, or on the website, you do need to go over to the Yarn Lane website, YouTube, and Facebook now to be able to watch. And what? We're doing knitting and crochet. It's Catherine Wright. We're doing lovely little tops. You've seen it on Facebook. Some of them are on Facebook. Anyway, uh, so don't go anywhere. Oh, by the way, if you bought something from me today on Sewing Street, make sure you check out your basket. But that means your P&P is covered for Yarn Lane later as well. So uh, I'll see you. We've got to run down the road now. Uh, I'll see you in about five minutes from now. <laughs>